Hey Wargamers, welcome back to the channel, Death From Above Wargaming. I'm Aaron. I'm Kevin. I'm Matt. And we are back again with another battle report. Matt, hanging out in the studio. Hey, thanks for having me. One more time. Yeah. Until the, next, until the next time. Until the next time. Uh, so we got some excitement going on tonight. This is a, this is a historical reenactment. Yes, it is. Uh, of the two-on-one. Battle, Battletech variety, and it is a two-on-one. Kevin and I taking on the Draconis Combine, you taking on Smoke Jaguar, in what epic battle, Matt? Tell us. What are we doing? This is a skirmish on the edge of the battle for Luthien. Oh, God, it's so good. I know. High stakes. There'll be drama. There will be drama. There's baggage There's around baggage. this battle. There is so much emotional tension. This takes me back to my There's... Mech Warrior 2 Mercenaries days. You remember yeah. that game? Yeah, Beautiful. And that was like the that was like the finale of the Battle of Luthien. This one this one has very significant meaning though to the combine. It Correct. Does. Um when you see the board later, you'll notice we're fighting um, on the top of a Shinto temple mm. overlooking the uh, sacred forest. The sacred forest. Yes. Uh, of House Korea. Where, where we keep all of our prisoners of war from Smoke <laughs> Jaguar. Smoke Jags. <laughs> keep your enemies closer. At, for an objective raid. <laughs> yeah. Free those POWs. Yep. Uh, before they're um, absorbed by the sacred forest. It is true. Desecrating. Um, the Luthien uh, National Preserve. You just took all flamer mechs. Correct. Uh, uh, and machine guns. No, just all Gaussian, right? <laughs> all Gaussian ERPPCs, like a true clanner. Yes. Uh, so we've got, we, we're doing what we haven't done in a while. We're doing a, a Seek and Destroy, uh, which is great. Yeah. So we, we have three objectives that we're defending, an Alpha, a Beta, and a Gamma. You're trying to come in and destroy. Basically, Gamma in any combination with either Alpha or Beta will give you the win. Yeah. Um, so we just have to protect those bases. Now, in addition to that, we are playing Destiny again. Oh, yeah. We love it. We're so addicted, I can't help it. Yeah, last was my first game. I'm stoked for a clan versus intersphere matchup. It's gonna, be, it's gonna be so good. Yeah. And we're doing eight on five. We're doing the way it was meant to be. The, way, the way God intended. It Two sounds terrifying. Yeah. But everyone has clans intended. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a good one, guys. It is, it is gonna be good. I'm and really excited. I'll yes. note this again. We have the largest mountain we've ever had on the channel. It's so big. What is it's it? Like, <laughs> level, two, level 10? Three, four, five, six. It's like at least seven, six or seven levels. Yeah. Maybe 10 if you jump on top of the building. Yeah. Oh, definitely. It's glorious, guys. It's you should glorious. have made like skidding rules or like, you know. Fall down the mountain rules. <laughs> pilot checks every time you go down. Oh it's my. amazing. This is going to be spicy. It's going to be good. Uh, yeah. So. We have to defend the house. We have to from defend. From this foreign this, invader. This is, this is it. I mean, if we lose the this. The honor of the clan is on the line. And you know how smoke jaguars are. Well, you are striking towards the heart of the dragon. And we will, yes. we will do nothing uh, short of... Well, we will actually self-sacrifice. That's pretty I mean, normal for us, but yeah, we'll just... If we don't win, I mean, we're done. Well, I think if we don't win, um, we will just bombard the planet with asteroids, mm. I believe. Sounds thematic. Yeah. Sounds something that the clan wouldn't do. No. Anyway, uh, so this is going to be a good one. Yeah. And I just wanted to make a special shout-out uh, to our patron and friend, Chaplain Steve Beckett, and the 79th EOD. So this battle report's dedicated to you guys. Uh, thanks so much for your support of the channel, and thank you to all of the amazing veterans out there uh, keeping us free, so we appreciate everything that you guys do. Uh, but speaking of veterans, why don't we take a look at the forces? We've got some good ones lined up.
All right, guys, so there they are. As always, sir, amazingly painted oh, pictures. Thank you very much, gorgeous. Only your Jaguars would have spots. <laughs> Uh, they look great. Uh, and excited, of course, to bring some some familiar... Uh, we did just play the... I just played the Annihilator and the Mauler against you in a recent yeah. battle report, but they're so oh, good. It's good to be on this side of the... Yo, the Mauler is a beast in this game. Yeah. The stats on this thing in, in, in Destiny is nasty. Yeah. It's nasty. That, and that's a lot of mechs to face off on. I've it's got my good. five, but they will yeah. survive. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I mean, we did the we did the four on three, and... Yeah, you know, we definitely tested it out. So we'll see what happens. This is this is intense. This is intense, guys. So a couple new exciting rules uh, that we are sort of house ruling, if you will, tonight. Uh, of course, based highly on math. Yep. Uh, so the first <laughs> one is uh, is Artemis fire control system, which is not in the Destiny rules. Um, however, of course, we built a model that tells you, you know, what's the what's the really the damage increase over the two D six curve if you have Artemis versus not, um, and we matched that to Destiny and actually lined up pretty close that you just re-roll those M dice. Yeah, your numbers looks like they were spot on. They were pretty much spot on. So it's like basically a 20% increase in, in overall damage output um, when you have an Artemis so mechanically in the game, yeah. you uh, roll your M dice to see for your cluster if right. it hits. This is just the re-roll for it. Right, so if you so, get a four, five, or six, you try again. I mean, mechanically very simple? Yeah, yeah, very simple. And the other one is XL engines. Yeah. Okay, so this is important because BV is so heavily influenced by XL engines. Yeah. So we wanted to make sure we did this one right. So Kevin put together some, some numbers that said like, you know, if you look at all of the criticals available, you know, like what's the what's the uptick from a standard engine to an ISXL to a Clan XL, um, and we really wanted to have a difference between the the vulnerability of an ISXL versus a Clan XL because right. as you know a Claner can lose a whole side and still be in the fight. Yeah, I mean um, we're making a broad assumption that they all have this you know full torso fill. Relatively, yeah. But yeah. I think yeah we had to make some. Yeah, and it's a percentage, right? So it does kind of scale up or down, yeah. right? Um, and so. The way it kind of worked out was um, when you roll for a critical in the in the torso section, if the mech is equipped with an XL engine, all right, you roll a D6. Now, if it's a clan XL engine, if you get a five or a six, it's an engine hit and, and you're done. If you if you roll a one, two, or three, or four, you just roll on the standard torso yeah. table. You can so, still get an engine hit there. It's the probability of hitting one of those like a structure extra yeah. spaces. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Right. Uh, and if it's an ISXL, which we don't have any of those on the table tonight. Um, actually, does the Mauler have an eye? It might. I have to go check. We'll actually, check it does. Because it it's does. SLDF tech? Yeah. Some leftovers? Oh, no, no, it's new. It's new. Yeah, it's okay. new, I think. I think that's a new one. So anyway, uh, so if it's an IS engine, a 4 plus when you make that initial yeah, roll. Yeah, so riskier. So it's the way, riskier, the right? So clans, you have to get a 5 or 6. Inner mm -hmm. sphere, you know, is a 16, an extra 16% chance you're going to get that, which, you know, again, different. Anyway, so it works out real nice. But that's what we're doing tonight. So guys, stay tuned. All of the exciting action coming your way right now. This is Star Captain Arlen Wimmer of Clan Smoke Jaguar, broadcasting to any Freebirth warriors worth the sport. We have come to claim our technician and scientist cast members taken prisoner in your cowardly raids. For your imprisonment of our lower cast members, we permit defenders no Hagira. Yet by conventions, we shall submit our Batal, one star of trueborn warriors and army mechs. Do not bother bidding Freebirths. We will take any and all forces you decide to commit to this battle. Your Desgra spheroid mechs stand no chance against trueborn warriors of Clan Smoke Jaguar. However, we will permit you bonds, Riff, as is your way of escaping dishonor. Otherwise, prepare for your defeat.
we are, guys. The Battle of Luthien. It's big doings. So this is on the outskirts of the city, a mighty temple, a shrine to the uh, to the Draconis Combine here, sitting atop, overlooking the uh, just the the start of the expanse of a great sacred forest. Uh, and we are playing a uh, Seek and Destroy, so we've got three objectives. Uh, Alpha is in the middle there, Beta over there, Gamma here. So they have, um, in our mission pack, they have basically a construction factor based on classic battle tech. So when you convert that to Destiny, which is simply divided by three, you end up with uh, 53, basically construction factor on Alpha, 34 on Beta, 27 on Gamma. So you know, we track damage. So if Matt chooses to shoot at those and take them out, uh, you know, he has to sink some some serious firepower into them. But that is all by design, guys. Matt, how do you feel about that? That's worrisome. We've got five mechs. Uh, Draconis have eight. Uh, imagine not firing for a round or two when those assaults are coming at you. Could be bad, but this is a, a terrain-rich environment. There's a, There's a lot going on here. That could be good for the clans. It could be bad, but... Those sneaky clanners manage to get to pick their side, so they are choosing to come in uh, on this edge here. So it's they will downhill. have it's all down. <laughs> it's all downhill. Kevin says, uh, "It's good times, guys. Good times about to happen." So we are going to get to movement, and then we'll be right back after turn one. Smoke Jaguar, moving on the field here after turn one. So lots of excitement, guys. If you remember, everybody kind of rolls for initiative independently. Uh, the Draconis Combine, the Alton Mark Militia, valiantly recalled here, defending uh, their homeworld against these savage spotted invaders. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, Matt, tell us what you got going on here. Yeah, one star, five mechs. First round, sprint to the Adder and Gargoyle. There wasn't enough space to uh, get guns on target. You can see uh, Alpha objective out in the middle of the board. I've got a lot of extreme range guns, and frankly, I got three right now in range. Locked them in. Let's mm. knock that objective out. And we thought this was going to be dangerous. One objective down. This was gonna, we knew it was going to be dangerous. All right. Well, all right. Well, uh, that's a good game, guys. Turn around and go home. <laughs> well, my annihilator didn't make it very far, so he's very still very close to the dropship. All you got to do is position his body in front of the next objective. That's his only job. This is only just body shield the objective. <laughs> Come on, you know shoot me! Then. I'm here. All right, so uh, as far as the Ultimark, so Kevin and I each controlling a lance. I am in control of the Annihilator, the Mauler, which is over there, the Marauder, and the Awesome. I'm sort of the Assault Lance, if you will. Uh, Kevin in control of the Catapult, uh, Wolverine, Shadowhawk, and Crab. Uh, so not much going on here that's exciting. I am moving the Marauder and the uh, the Awesome down here on the right flank. The uh, The Annihilator trying to stay on as much flat ground as possible. And, uh, and the Mauler trying to get a clear field of fire on those oncoming clan mechs. Kev, what about your side? You know, I just decided to do kind of a 50-50 split with the lighter, the medium lance. Um, so a catapult and Wolverine kind of moving up this side of the river, just in case something were to come down that side of the hill, but maybe heading towards those woods there that are all on the slope. Yeah. And then Shadowhawk working his way up the riverbank on this side and Crab just kind of floating in the middle of all these meaty heavies and assaults. All right. He's trying to be like, he's like, guys, look at me. I'm here. Can I be your friend? Can well, I, this? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, your speed's going to be critical here. Uh, you know, having those fast mechs, I right. think, to intercept those clanners and, and tie them up. That, that could be game changing. But yeah. right now we move right into shooting. Let's do it. Uh, so we're using all the raw modifiers. No DFA modifiers uh, necessary for Destiny. It seems fairly good as, as it's written. So that means a minus four for immobile targets. Great. Um, so do, do you need to roll dice? I'm not even sure. Almost <laughs> no. Um, some of these guys have really low modifiers. Yeah. Um, and extreme range weapons. Okay. Um, starting at the um, bottom of my initiative order. Yep. Uh, we're looking at the Stormcrow. Okay. Uh, he's got... Two ER large lasers oh, goodness reaching gracious. out to extreme range right. with a plus four. Yep. Uh, he is, however, a three uh, gunnery skill. So that's all you need that's is a, a three. Seven, yeah, a three, exactly. So just a three because, you know, we do basically, right, three plus four minus four. Yeah. It's just three. Yeah. So. Bye-bye objective. Uh, do I even need to come Snake over and, eyes. And, and, yeah, we're hoping. We've seen weirder things. All right. All right. Got so my three. 
So what is that? Seven damage? Eight that's da seven damage. Seven damage, basically. Wow, that's like two two PPCs. You know, that's this cool. clan lasers are so good. Uh, okay, and what else do you have over there? Uh, we also have the Timberwolf. Okay. Uh, of of fame, you know. And he's also firing at Beta or Alpha, rather. Alpha, correct. Uh, we've got a pair of LRM twenties. Uh, mm -hmm. And a pair of ER large lasers. I mean, did Clamex build up heat in this game? I mean, is that a thing? It's a myth, I've heard. <laughs> What's the Stormcrow have, like, 45 double heat? Stormcrow you know, 45? had 41 heat, double heat sinks. Oh my god, yeah. so ridiculous. Like I love something. The Stormcrow. It's, in, it's like, you know, it's some insane number uh, that it could never even use. Uh, all right, so anyway. Yeah. yeah, let's play with these LRMs. So right. it's two LRM 20s. Okay. That's doing an 8 plus MM damage if I hit. Okay, let's, let's do it. Look for threes. No, he's a skill two. He's a skill two. I need to Automa not roll at all. You need to not roll at all. Just roll That's your fantastic. MM. So it's right. Skill two plus four minus four. Automatic hit. Uh, so and Aaron, um, these are non non RMs. RMs yeah. These are regular old LRMs. I believe. So here's the, my M rolls. I'm looking for ones, twos, and threes. Yeah, the Loki and the Gar. Oh, oh. all right. So that's going to be twelve more damage to Alpha Objective. Um, yeah. in total. That's fantastic. All right, and now your ER large coming off your Timberwolf. Yep. Automatically hit. For seven more damage. So it's 14 and 12 is 26 points of damage, if my math serves me correct. Okay. Did this have a rule, like, did, didn't Battle have a rule where, like, Snake Eyes is always a No. Uh, I, no, it does not, actually. Uh, there is, I believe, an optional rule for critical fumbles in Alpha Strike or something like that, but we never, we never played it. So, yeah. Uh, I mean, listen, it's a building. If you need a two to hit right. it and you miss it, I mean, my <laughs> lord. The clans are just going to execute you on the spot. It's like you're about to shoot it up because it's like a fly in the cockpit. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> that is bees in my cockpit. <laughs> listen, this is this is a Luthien yeah, sort of swamp nature. Killer hornets. Right. <laughs> the killer, the killer bugs here are thick. Murder hornets. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> is it too soon? I don't even know. Uh, all right, so that, uh, that Loki's up the Hellbringer. It is. Now, he's got um, an Artemis 10. Oh no, he doesn't. He does, does on his SRM six. However, yeah, his long SRMs. range armament is a combo. It's a, it's a gauze rifle and the LBX five. Oh, that's not bad. So we're looking at seven more damage. He has skill three. So he needs it. He could. So he could miss. Yeah. Okay. But he does not. So what's the damage there? So we're twenty six plus another seven. It's another seven. Okay, it's thirty three. I did my math right? I, I believe know. so. We'll check it off camera. Uh, yeah, <laughs> we'll, che we'll check it off camera. <laughs> Batalytics will tell us this. Yes. Uh, all right, so that's a substantial chunk yeah. out of this Alpha Objective. This is absolutely objective. critical. Yeah. I'm about to be mobbed by eight mechs. This is the one chance we have to try and get ahead. Yeah. We all have right. civilians in that building that are going to be throwing Molotov cocktails out. So. Most, most definitely, yeah. <laughs> I didn't tell you that. We have uh, We have no mercy towards the labor cast. We, ha we have infantry <laughs> hidden in the, in the black building over there. Uh, okay, so... Guys, that's the end of turn one. Already, Matt laying down a withering hail of fire. Can't imagine we can do anything at this on point. On the critical communications are right here, so we can't call for reinforcements if you destroy that. It's going to be tough. And then the POWs could be broken. This could be bad. So, guys, turn two is coming up. Kevin already checking, measuring, preparing. All right, guys, turn two. We are back. This combine force scampering to get into range here. This is... Uh, this is where the clan range really, uh, really shines here. So Matt aloft the hill there, the smoke jaguars, Alpha Galaxy, I believe. Alpha, correct. They are, they are just scowling right now, just sneering. The clan is not impressed with these free birth scum. It is true, and and you are about to take out Alpha Objective, uh, unfortunately. There's only 20 points left, and you have basically all of your mechs in range. The entire star has Alpha. Uh, in um, its sights, yeah. and the entire Ultimate Market Militia is sprinting for that extra TMM. Yeah. It won't save them. Yeah, well, we'll see. I mean, the reason I'm sprinting is to get my Mauler in range. Yes. So just wait till right. next turn, Matt. Yes. Next turn, everything will be in range. <laughs> everything will be in range. Yeah, the uh, game will take a different flavor. But Matt, doing what, uh, what I think I would do, which is try to get that early lead up. So tell us real quick, you know... Yeah, so what you got? this star took a partial move forward to get our TMMs as well as make sure that all our barrels had uh, sights on the objective. Um, that is the case. Mm -hmm. I don't want to get too close um, to the Ultimate Market Militia and get their long range mechs uh, threatening me yet. Um, this is kind of our early opportunity to take a stab at being able to survive the um, scenario. All right, well, very good, sir. Uh, so, on the side of the Draconis Combine, 
Um, basically what we've got going on here, this little trio coming up the right flank, I will be in range, I believe this round, next turn, uh, with long range. So that means that the crab, the marauder, um, the awesome, all of these mechs will have good range, uh, to those, uh, mechs up on the ridge. And then, you know, it's a tough walk down for, uh, for those smoke jaguars to get to beta. So we have to form a wall here. Um, getting that annihilator up, getting that mauler so it can guns can come across. Um, so we'll see what happens here. And then of course Kevin's fast max kind of moving in. Kev, what are you thinking about with the uh with the catapult? I love those PPCs on there. Yeah, man. You love the K2. I do. That's, that's why I chose this lance. <laughs> and the Wolverine. Wolverine's always been one. Yes. That's true. But um so those my, my two faves, they are moving up that river bank on the left side. Uh, making a beeline for that tree, that cluster of trees on the slope, as I said last turn. Yep. Shadowhawk stopped at the river edge, probably just going to be jumping over. He's boosting, getting ready to boost over that. And then the crab just kind of falling into echelon here with that um, marauder, making sure that he's staying by his side. Love it. I mean, they look so, they look, that's like big brother, little brother. Right. Don't leave me. <laughs> <laughs> the crab is nasty in uh in destiny all right so matt you ready to destroy objective alpha let's do it all right so we know that the objective has 20 points left yeah um let's find the guy with the worst initiative and fire with him first sounds good all right that's looking at the hellbringer okay he has that gauze rifle lbx combo okay seven points yep uh skill three needs a three okay so let's dial it in Got five. Oh, look at you using the fancy dice tray now. Absolutely. I feel like Take it's very unclam like to use any ammunition on a building. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, they, well, they can't kick it or punch it either, so uh, there's nothing they can do. Physical attacks are unbecoming of a clan. <laughs> uh, so how much damage is that now? That is seven. Seven. Okay, so it has 13 points remaining. Correct. So next... Um, Smoke pouring from the satellite dish there. <laughs> Smoke take up is the gargoyle. I just, I just lost Disney Channel. <laughs> Disney Plus has been canceled. No! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Gauze Rifle doing five damage. Okay. Skill two. Need a two. Uh, Clanners don't roll for that. Clanners don't roll for that. We just... Just do. All right. So. He does, however, have an LRM-10. Oh. Okay. Um, and this is a one plus M. Well, this is the Artemis 10, right? It is. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. I knew you had an Artemis 10 in there somewhere. So, yep. so this one, uh, you're going to roll? It's a one plus M. Yeah. All right. So, so roll up that M. M. Here comes that M. All right, so two, two, so three points of damage. Yep. So it has ten pips left. Ten pips. Ten pips left on this on this alpha object. It's not good, Kevin. Should have given it more pips. We picked the picked the low escalation because we're like, well, it's an eight on five, you know. But we now knew, we knew we'd be cutting the cord. <laughs> it's just, that's why we stuck alpha out front. I just didn't realize we'd be taking fire on turn one. Uh, but yeah. clan extreme range. It's just brutal. Uh, next mech up. Yeah. Stormcrow. Such a jerk. Your yeah. favorite. Of course. Tom's it's, favorite, it's too, by the way. It's the best clan medium. It's the one I want. Its well, real it's name is that Ryokin. Yeah, it's yeah. the one you want to drive around. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. It's, Downtown. It's my favorite as well. I love it. Um, yeah. But he's got a pair yeah. of uh, ER um, large lasers. Okay. Total of seven points. He's skill three. So Just let's uh, not get snake eyes. Oh, wow. He's so close. Kevin, we could use a point of edge. No, we actually can't. Um, so you only use edge if you know it's targeting you. Unfortunately, my buildings don't have edge. They yeah. should have though. That's they should. Right. Have. We uh, should have rolled separate stats for the building. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very tactical building. Very tactical building. High guts. Yeah. Uh, so uh, three points. Three points left. Three points uh, and left two on max. this building. That's okay. the adder and the timber wolf. Yeah. Adder and then the timber wolf. I'm proud that the building is making him waste all these. <laughs> Like shots. two rounds Every of shooting. Every shot targeting us. <laughs> yeah, we're like, thank God that radar dish it's is exactly there. exactly my anxiety. All right, well, let's see. Uh, the, the Colonel, Matthew Steiner himself, going for alpha kill. Not a real Colonel. That's ironic. <laughs> uh, however, he has two PPCs, what? and they're not linked. <laughs> <laughs> so the Adder will discharge a single PPC, which okay. does the astounding five points of damage. Yeah, well, mm. I mean, ER PPCs are ridiculous. Clan yeah. ER PPCs are ridiculous they're in fantastic. all forms of Battletech. And Mech Warrior. All right. So. He has a skill two pilot, though. I'm mean, a gunnery two pilot. So it's an auto hit. So it's an auto okay. destruction. Yep. So just all that exposition for nothing, Matt. You could have just said, hey, my adder just killed the building. This is a narrative campaign. I'll tell you what's <laughs> happening. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So congratulations. You, your building's on fire. <laughs> <laughs> I'm distracting you with my incredible prose. Uh, so Alpha's destroyed, man. 
Congratulations. Go Clan Smoke Jack. Uh, is no, there... I want to see him roll. <laughs> <laughs> is there anything else you can shoot with? Yeah, so the Timberwolf uh, has not fired yet. Okay. Um, he's got extreme range. Here we go. Uh, that's 30 inches for yeah, us. Yeah, 30 and He's got his LRM 20s and, his, and his ER water ER lasers. Okay. Mm. Let's see if you can find any victims. Might be might be difficult. But I, I tell you, did I tell you there's heavy fog? We should have put weather in this, Kevin. God darn it. Yeah. You can't Slippery see slopes. the you can't see the building until you're five inches away from it. Really thick fog. You're bogged down with every inch you move. What do you, oh god, that's the worst rule. I know. <laughs> Crazy. Uh, he has um, sights on the awesome. Okay. <laughs> All right. So yeah. bring it up. I mean, he's he just called me out in honorable combat, and my guy's like, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> we don't understand your strange clan or ways. <laughs> So, uh, you're going to need so, a 2, 4, 8, if I'm not mistaken. Skill 2 pilot? Yeah. He's the XO? Yeah. yeah. That's correct. An 8. Yep. All right. LRM 20 is looking for 8s. Quite short. Okay. Ooh, well, that's unbecoming of the clans. Well, as the, you know, the building, the radar dish exploded, he had to rapidly switch He targets. was letting him know that he was targeting him. Yeah. He's like, yeah. this is coming next Now, time. same thing for the for the clan ER large, yep. right? They Matching the modifier. Yeah. Also need so eight for good. those. So good. Got him. Oh, seven points. All right. So seven points of damage. Let's and, roll uh, location. Don't roll it well. Awesome. Go for a leg. Eight, eight. torso. Yeah. All right, Ouch. so Kev, you wanna you wanna do me the honors over there? So it's it's seven points, is it seven yeah. points, right? Correct. Seven points to the torso. Youch. And that's like fifty percent of my armor, isn't it, or more? That's that hurts. It's over. That's hurts. Four left. Okay, so um, are you done shooting? Uh, we are yes. done. You All need right. to make a piloting check. Uh, I do. Oh, great call, Kevin. Uh, so I'll do that now. Uh, seven damage. I'm gonna steal your right? dice here. So my awesome is a skill four. Yep. So I just need a five. Just a five, guys. Yes. Uh, it's famous less words. Okay. So my awesome. We'd shrug. have to spend edge early on. <laughs> he shrugs that one off like it's nothing. All right. But except for our alpha objective is now engulfed in flames. <laughs> except for the fact that his chest is showing like bright amber on the hood. <laughs> so, guys, turn two is over. Action is happening. The Battle of Luthien. This is, uh, this is something special. So stick around for turn three. It is coming right up. The Jaguar is descending down the hill towards Beta Objective. Uh, we, I think we miscalculated on the uh, <laughs> on the structure required for this uh, this clan, this this alien invader. They weren't uh, for clan weaponry. Oh my God, they're just not tooled for clan weaponry. They're just melting things over here. So, uh, of course, a big mix in terms of initiative. Um, but I can talk about what my lance has done first. So my Annihilator moving in front of the objective to grant it partial cover. Uh, it's about all I can do. Uh, everything else on my side walked except for the Mauler. So I'll talk about the Awesome. Moving up. Didn't crest the hill yet. Didn't have to pay to go up. But is in 21 inches long range. PPC's staring maybe at that Adder. Uh, Marauder also. PPC's burning hot. Ready to go. AC loaded up. Probably also looking at the Adder. Uh, and then the Mauler over here just standing still. Eyeing up that Loki, mm -hmm. ER larges, LRM fifteens, four AC twos. It's a lot of lot of DACA, as they say in yeah. some other game that we once used to play a long time ago. Uh, and that's that, Kev. What do you got on your side? Well, the Wolverine and the catapult sprinted, kind of going around opposite sides of that wood. Um, you know, they they didn't really have range on anything, so. Sprinting was the best thing I could really do. The Shadowhawk jumped across the river. He's got a line on either the Timberwolf or the Hellbringer. Um, and then the uh, the crab kind of just camping out at the base of that hill, the, the, the rocky gullet there. Yeah. And uh, I'm not sure what he's going to shoot at, but he's got range on pretty much anything. Yeah, the crab. The crabs are, I, I think, a little even better in Destiny than they are in Alpha Strike because Alpha Strike, the large laser gets sloshed into the medium range category. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, whereas here, you know, you got that 15 inch punch, you know, which falls into that long range, because they kind of get that little boost, if you will. Uh, so Matt makes the heat worth it. Yeah. It makes the heat worth it. Eight heats yeah. like a ton. Um, so Matt, what did, what did you tell us? What, what clever tactics you have going on here on the hill? Yes. <laughs> See, Forward the, ho! the cunning clan smoke Jaguar <laughs> warriors honorably stepped a foot forward to get maximum barrels on the second objective. Okay. Um, well, the Dracos Combine, 
think they can block it with their slow, low-tech assault mechs <laughs> that we will show them. You will try. You'll try. Uh, you know, hopefully the... Uh... I should, yeah, I should look up, what's the shielding rule in Alpha Strike? Can we use that one? I think if like I get to print plus two and if you miss, you hit me. I don't know. Anyway, yeah. we're just going to call a partial cover for now. But uh, we're going to start shooting. Kevin, you're actually going to shoot first with the Shadowhawk, I believe. Let's do it. And then we'll march up the initiative order and see who's next. <clears throat> so the Shadowhawk's going to be shooting at the Hellbringer, I think. I think it's the best thing that he can do in life. Um, it's just the... Oh, I think actually we, we are in long range now, I believe. I'm gonna double check. It's just... right at the cusp. I'd be fine with a, an upper low roll on a die six if you want. Okay. So Kev, can you can you get up? What's, what's better? Four plus. Higher, better. Yeah. Four plus is higher the, hits. Higher is higher range. range. There we are. Right. Twenty one. Okay. So those uh, those AC. What is that? PPC and LRM ten on that Shadowhawk. Yeah. Yeah. That's the two um, K. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you have range. He's got LRM-10s, right? Yeah, but it was for the PPC. I was just wondering. Got it. Yeah. Got it. And for, you know. Got it. Yeah. It. So, yeah, PPC, LRM-5. I'll start with the PPC. That's going to be... He's a gunnery 3. So, 3, 5. Um, it's going to be 9s for the PPC. Oh, so tempting. So tempting, but, but yeah. No. Uh, the LRM-5. Here we go. Looking for a 9. Alright. Nothing. Okay. Alright, so moving up the order. So, 4, 5. Do you have any 5s on your side, Matt? Nope. 6s? Is... 6 is the adder? At uh, 6 oh. Ugh. Uh, skill 2. Um, so and a need... targeting computer on those PPCs. Oh, so he still needs a 2. Mm. Yeah. Um, however, he'll only use a single PPC to do the 5 damage to right. the target. Okay. So you hit it. All right, so it takes five points. Five points down already. And what did we say it has? 37 or something like that? 34? Correct. Yep. Something along those lines. So that hurts. All right, five points already on beta objective. Now, uh, who else is up? So that was number six? Yep. Who, do we have any sevens, Kevin, on our side? Who's number yes, seven? Yes, the Wolverine. The Wolverine. And Hellbringer oh. is a 7A. Okay, and what is he doing? Uh, Hellbringer also has sights on the objective. This is primarily his Gauze Rifle LB5X combo. Okay. Um, skill 3 with cover four. Uh, needs his force. This will be for a total of 7 points of damage if he lands it. Alright, so 12 on this objective already. You're just melting things. The damage groups are so high. Uh, okay. So that was initial order at 7, right? Okay. So we move up eight. to 8. Uh, You're my Marauder. Awesome. Uh, gargoyle oh, on 8. 8B. Eight yep. You have a gargoyle. Yeah, I think my awesome is slower. Than, yeah, because your yeah. your guy's a better pilot. He won the tiebreaker. So my awesome is going to fire three PPCs at the adder. Yep, going for broke here. It's a Absolutely. group of two and a group of one. Uh so three, four, five, and I'm at long range uh, nines. Right, I need nines. Okay, so here we go, guys. Miss the single PPC now. Miss. <sighs> All right, Gargoyle, not returning fire. He's going for that objective. So unsmoked Jaguar-like. We'll see. Okay. The night is young. Night is young. Yes. Mission comes first. Mission. Right. Skill two Gargoyle pilot, bringing us um, yes, to a three. He needs. You need a three. You need a three. Um, so Gauze Rifle and the Artemis LRM-10. Okay. So let's go Gauze Rifle, looking for a three. Got that it. is... Five more points of so damage. 17 that's taken so far. Now, right? LRM is Artemis. It's going to be a 1 plus M. Here's my M roll. 17, 20, and 22 then. Takes 22. All yep. right. Oh, I don't like it. Uh, so we're moving up to number nine in the initiative order, Kevin. That would be the crab. All right. All right. What is what is the what is the junior, <sighs> junior crab doing right. over here? Let's check some range. All right. I think I'm going to go after that adder, though. Yeah. I think that's the appropriate thing. He's melty. Yeah, definitely at long range. Um, I think you're gonna need nines. Yeah, so... I can't believe I missed all the PPCs. Two, I just needed... Six, nines, though. Seven, eight. Is, I know. Uh, I'm counting eight. Where'd you get nine? Uh, no, you're right. Three, yeah. seven, eight. Nine, two. two large lasers. Could be juicy. Could be a failure. Nothing. 
Okay. So, uh, any, do we have any other nines on our side? Yeah, you got a 10. All right, so any, do you have any 10s on your side? I do. Okay, I don't remember who goes, uh, what, what order they go in. So I have the Mauler and... Three, four. Yeah, I got the Mauler at 10. Who do you have at 10? Stormcrack, skill three. Skill three, they're both skill three. I think we rolled off, right? I think you won, so uh, I go first. Um, all right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do two LRM-15s. Uh, I'm gonna do all my ACs and one ER large laser, and I'm firing at that Loki. It's a lot of eh, a lot of fire down for you. Now you're elevated. You know you're the forest isn't obscuring line of sight uh, because you're on level five. One, two, three, four, five, right? Yeah. Uh, what do you think from down there, Kev? And and the the forest yeah. lane goes up to level four because um, we play level three forest, right? So so I'm a skill two basically because I'm stationary. You're a four, and we are at extreme range. Okay. Now, extreme range on my AC2s is only a plus two. Wow. So I need sixes on the AC2s. We're going to start there. All right. AC2s. I don't think you have this documented. On the Mauler? Uh, so 10. So that's a hit. Gotcha. AC2s shows a plus four. Oh, at extreme range, you're right. It is a plus four at extreme range. Yes. It's plus two at long. You're right. Gotcha. Uh, it still hits. Still hits. Ten's a big number. Good call. Yeah. Um, okay. So it's three I'm points. Surprised. I figured that'd be the one that might actually have that extreme component. Well, a lot of things don't even hit at extreme. You know, only yeah. LRMs and stuff. Like having a plus two at long is really good. Uh, so three points of damage to your torso. To torso. All right. Which you have like five, th six pips on your torso. So that's, yeah, it's that's... thirty percent gone with that one AC two. That's molly. three three pips, but three pips. three pips, but that's four AC twos drilling into your chest. Ouch. Okay. Uh, now the LRM fifteens. So this is a four plus MM. Need the same thing. Need eights. Here we go. Oh Jesus, Christmas! What kind of molar is this? It's a standard. Yeah. Uh, now my ER large uh, also hits out to extreme. I need an eight. This is killing me, man. I need to connect with something here. Oh, there go. God, there it is. What's it, three points of damage, Kev? For which? The ER large. Yeah, three points. Okay, three points. Here we go. Uh, looking for a seven. A five. Right log. Excellent number. No, not an excellent number. Okay, so moving on uh, the initiative chain here. So you have <clears throat> Stormcrow, right? Stormcrow. Yeah. So Stormcrow is the one smoke jag mech that does not have the objective in sight. Okay. Um. But we started drilling on an awesome. Yeah. I think he's gonna try and finish the job. Okay. Well, you can try. Uh, so oh, yeah. ER large lasers. Okay. The awesome uh, is just packs for days. Bro. Skill three. <laughs> okay. Um, extreme range is a four. That's a seven. Yeah. Uh, eight for his TMM. Got it. So, let's let's get eights. Got eights. Now, damage. Uh, ER large at seven points. Ugh. Okay. You know what happened last time? Locations. I want left center. Arm. Oh, oh that's bleeding. That's bleeding then. All right, so that's a critical. Three, in, three internal. So you have to roll eight plus to confirm that critical hit. Right, come Just on, lasers boring through the chest of this thing. It is a critical. Confirmed. So one d six. One die six. Uh, one is ammo. There's which is none. Uh, two is a weapon group. So you <laughs> likely are going to pick a PPC. Correct. Uh, and likely that destroys the, the PPC, double PPC, the double PPC group. Yes, yeah, so that double PPC group is offline. That's that's huge. Yeah. That's huge. That takes, you it's know, 1600 right battle value, you know, modified off the table. Uh, that's that's <laughs> ridiculous. Okay. Uh, is that is that everything? That's all the 10s. Okay. Uh, moving on to the 11s. So I know that my Annihilator is at 11. He can't do anything. He's not in range. Um, Kevin, you can just double check, but I'm pretty sure he's not at 21 to anybody if you want to just... The Annihilator? Yeah, take I a peek. It. And I also have the... Uh, looks like the Catapult uh, is an 11. And is my Marauder an 11 too? I believe I'm... sprinted. Okay, and the Marauder's an 11. Do you have any 11s? No. All right, so we're going to go to the Marauder. He's looking at the Adder, who is allegedly just unhittable. Um, at this point, like every game, so barreling down that hill, just doing his tuck his roll. It's like a, it's like Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, He's got man. the shell. He just tucks his arms in and rolls down the hill. Uh, so PPC is an AC five. All right, so you're at long range, which is plus four for all of these weapons. Uh, he is a skill three, so seven, and then eight nine. Ugh. Big number. 
I mean, like, come on, this is ridiculous. I'm building up heat everywhere. It's just like awful, awful, awful. PPCs, AC5. Disappointing, guys. You can hear the disappointment in my voice. Uh, I mean, I've never missed more nines in my life. Like, I feel like I should have hit, like, at least one of them. Okay, so 11s up to the 12s. Who's in, and we got a 12 on your side? Are you um, done shooting? My CEO has the 13. Oh, he's got a 13. Yep. Timberwolf, CO. The loser. Yep. Smoke Jaguar. Uh, he's got targets in his sights. Weirdo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So he's looking at the objective. Is that the case here? Uh, it is. Now he, the objective sells 22, 22 pips left, right? Oh, it's taken 22 pips. Taking 22. Oh, God. But it's going to take a lot more real quick. Okay. He needs threes. Okay. Uh, because of the cover. Um, it has an LRM 20s and those ER large lasers. Okay. So let's try those LRMs. Looking yep. for that three. I'm just hoping for snake eyes, but yep. that's impossible. Uh, however, it's two M's. So it's <clears throat> eight plus two. Yeah. Let's roll these. All right. So it's just eight. Uh, just eight. So it's taken now 30 points of damage. Correct. So I believe the lasers will finish it off. Affirmative. We're left for 34 points, and this is going to deliver seven more. Yeah. Um, just need that three to confirm it. That's it. Boom. So you, you have basically uh, put us in a position where we can no longer win the mission objectives here. However... There is a funny twist to this. Now, as you can tell, smoke jaguars aren't one to back down from a fight. Ever. No, until this field is cleared, the honor of the Jaguar is at stake. How is, dare we even approach you on the field of battle? You know? These Freebirths dare to bear arms against honorable clan warriors is offensive enough. Offensive enough. So the battle will go on. The battle will go on here, guys. Uh, so it is... Uh, God, what is this? Turn three? And yeah. You, and you basically <laughs> just annihilated these objectives, but now the Jaguars, unsatisfied, will continue uh, to advance here in this battle for Luthien. So, guys, turn four is coming up. Stay tuned. Carnage is on the way. Here they are, the gun line closing in and circling the hill where this temple lies. The Smoke Jaguar, after destroying critical objectives and infrastructure, realizing their prisoners are actually held in this very facility here on the hill. Did you know that, Matt? We found out. You found out. And now we're they're actually holding below the building, like you know, underground in a, in a secret stories, <laughs> secret Draconis torture lair. <laughs> <laughs> awful in the dungeon of the unhonorable. Oh my That's goodness! About, it's about to turn into Hamburger Hill, though. Uh, yeah, right? so we have to make the scale. We got to scale up there. We got to get these jaguars off the hill. They got to hold it down long enough uh, to get their people out. But let's see what happens here. So I want to I tell you basically what we've got going on on the Draconis side first, at least with my land. So my awesome who. Heartbreakingly is down to one PPC. It's just like this, this eunuch of an awesome. Uh, he is doing his best, trying to, you know, heat penalty, struggling up the hill. Uh, the Marauder marching forward un unabashed. He he's got uh, full complement of weapons still and no damage. And um, the the Annihilator sprinting as fast as his legs will take him. Um, and then we've got the Mauler. He ditched his legs. He, he looks submerged. <laughs> look at that. On. Look at that. Look at that realistic submersion uh, of the of the mauler. So he's in level one water, about to cool off. Real rivers on DF. That's right. This is <laughs> it's running water, uh, and he is going to be aiming up, probably sticking on that Loki if he can. Uh, Kev, what about your lens? Yeah, much of the same. Um, you know, trying to work our way up different flanks of the hill, this ridge line where the trees are. They're not going to use the forest. I don't think it's going to pay me anything because I think he can just hit me from the top there. So just getting clear line of sight. The crab's the only one who just kind of is camping down there. He's going to just maybe try to draw some of the fire from his bigger allies, um, but otherwise has probably a good shot lined up. All right. This Wolverine's making his way around. I mean, he's got good line of sight there. Yep. Uh, looking right up at that Loki. Maybe we can take one of these clanners out and enrage them, but we'll see. Matt, tell us what's going, what's going on here with the, with the Jags. Yeah, it's pretty basic. Um, not very creative. I mean, they're just not they're creative. Just, it's like it's a, two gun lines. They're grabbing potato chips and sitting still. <laughs> just blowing, blowing, just their pouring dudes barrels away. downhill. Um, take advantage of their range superiority while they have it for a round or two. Yeah. Well, the uh, the the noose of the combine here is tightening, as these mechs are are certainly encircling you. Thanks to the Wolverine here. Uh, so we're gonna march through the initiative order here. We'll start shooting. Uh, I believe, what, five was the lowest we had? And uh, Kevin, I think that was the 
the the junior crab. crab over there. Yeah. Yes, crab. Um, I guess we will go for the adder. Pretty sure he's got line of sight up there. Yeah, mm. we're just gonna go for the adder. I don't like it. I love the adder, but that's why I don't like it. But not that one. <clears throat> um, so he's a skill three. So we got three. Five. It's a niner. Yep. No, but seven for standing still. Right. Eight. Yeah. Eight. Just minus Sorry, one. Yep. Minus one. I always do that. Eighty, eighty-eight. Oh, so God. Continuing the Inner Sphere legend. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> holy smokes, guys. Uh, Smoke Jaguar fans everywhere are super excited about this, this battle report right now. Uh, so also at a five position is your I'm, catapult. I'm going to use the edge on that crab. Why not? Uh, you got a 50-50. Knight is young. Well, just you can just re-roll the one three if you want. I could do that. I think that would analytics says. Yeah. Matt, no, Matt take, take your yeah, take your three plus, four plus. Come on, man. <sighs> oh, burn. <sighs> oh well. Unlucky. Well, I mean it was a it was a good a good attempt, but your catapult here's got some PPCs. Yeah, so catapult is gonna be going for the Hellbringer. I love um, that. Um I love Cherry it. picking my, my light boys. I mean, yeah. if, you do, if you double down on the chest, you'll blow this thing away with twin PPCs. This thing has no armor. Six pips. <laughs> I mean, Two, just... Four, and that's what? Six. So he's a skill two. He's the, he's the XO. So he's Ooh. going to deal with a six here. Okay. Two, no. four, eight. eight. Yeah. Got it. Oh, double PPC. I love that. Finally. Let's All right. bring this hover down. Six. You could edge the six. I feel bad doing it, but I must insist. I mean, I'm going to edge you back. You can. <laughs> what yeah, was it? A two, two, six right? and a two. So he's edging the six. Uh, so mark that edge off, brother. Yep. We're just edging. This is this is obviously an intense turn here. All right, but I'm going to edge the whole roll. Okay, it's happening. Deep breath. <sighs> Man. Ooh. All right. So edge being edge luck. Fortune being spent like like uh, my paper thin armor has been saved. Yeah, one more round. We're one more round, but you know this is a good this is a good thing. That's it. Okay, for so for Simmons, now, uh, your Mauler and your awesome. Mauler and the awesome. Actually, no, your your Marauders a six. So. Oh, the Marauders a six too. All right, can you do me a kindness and grab me those delicious Draconis dice down there? Uh, I almost wish I brought I the you were gonna ask for meat snacks or something. The cat the catalyst <laughs> one. Yeah. <laughs> <Give me this laughs> delicious. Give me those uh delicious charcuterie snacks. Uh so the uh Marauder. I guess he's going for the adder. Yeah. Uh I'm gonna do uh were we at medium range or did you back out of it? I was I, I got out of medium on purpose to avoid yes, we are at fifteen inches. Okay. Mm. So that means I would need, again, nines. Just gonna do the AC two. Yeah. I need fives? No. That's an AC five. Oh yeah, AC five, sorry. Yeah. No, that heat, man. Yeah, I, I'm, I got way too much heat. It lets you bleed heat. that heat. It lets me be bleed, yeah, AC yeah. five. And also I was wrong on the LRM on the Shadowhawk. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna come out and say it right now. It's wrong. You're right, I was thinking of the Griffin. No big deal. The They're like the right. same mech. Anyway, yeah, the card, the card's right. I'm wrong. I just run that shadow. I'm getting all sorts of things confused. Too many mechs on the table. I don't know what's happening, guys. I'm over 40 now. Uh, all right, so I miss, which is exactly why I only shot the AC. Uh, so my guys, these Draconis guys not doing it. Need the Atrian Knights on the table. Ooh. Where are they? Guys, where are you? There they are. They're over behind Kevin. Uh, so <laughs> awesome is up now. All right. Right. New PPC. Are we we're moving up to oh actually, well before we get the six, we you don't have any sixes, right? You're no. all done. Sevens. You have two. I have two and that's it, right? So I'm gonna start with the awesome. It's going for the adder. Of course. Like for the love of God. Hey. Somebody hit the adder, please. Need a nine. Jeez. Wanna re-roll that too? I don't. What uh, else is he gonna use it for? When the night is young, when you get real spicy the chest. Chest. <laughs> when Matt invariably headshots me, yeah, exactly. When I get hit in the chest, um, okay. So the mauler is up from his submerged position. I'm gonna oh, be firing so many weapons, firing up at the Loki. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing I did last time two LRM 15s, all the auto cannons, yeah. and one ER large laser. 
uh, and I will not build up any heat. So Remove. here we go. AC twos. AC twos first. Now yeah. I'm just calculating the number here. Uh, three, four, five, and we're at extreme range. I need nines again, don't I? Yeah. God, I hate you, Matt. I'm rolling on. I'm rolling over with here. My fingers. Unbelievable. Ouch. Uh, LRM 15s. Now, same thing. Large what laser. Guys, what is happening? Smoke Jaguar has all the mojo here. Uh, okay, so Mauler is a total whiff. Uh, moving up the order to eights. Any eights, eights on your side, Matt? Yeah, we have the gargoyle. We have the adder. Okay, gargoyle and the adder. Time for adder's revenge. He's being picked on. He's not being, no one's hit him. <laughs> he doesn't even know he's being picked on. It's they... all sound and fury <laughs> signifying nothing. <laughs> for now. We're just firing warning for shots now. at this point. Uh, well, that Marauder looks real tasty. It has a lot of guns he'd like to bear. Okay. His TMM is zero right now. That's giving true. us a pretty significant advantage. Yeah, and your so skill too. So being in long range, um, skill two. Yeah. Um, and your PCs are three, four. Four to hit. Yeah, you need a four to hit. Correct. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Um, this is good Oh, no, 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 wait a minute. You need a three to hit because you have a targeting computer. Correct. All my modifiers have that extra minus one on there. Fantastic. That's brutal. So this is an opportunity. I'm gonna use both my PPCs and take on some heat so I can do max damage to that Marauder. I mean, this is this is 10, 10 points here. I don't so, like any of it. First three. Twos. Got it. Okay. We're looking <clears throat> to place five damage on the Marauder. Here's and, location. And the head? All right, six, six. that's torso. the torso. So it takes five, the Marauder takes five to the torso. All right, next shot. All right, second one looking for a three. Got it. All right, let's roll torso. You know how much I enjoy shooting it. 11. Ah, left arm. Ha <laughs> sucker. Well, I mean, a PPC can take it too. I know, That's it's okay. crazy, dude. Yeah, it was five. Um, yeah, five. five. That doesn't go internal quite yet. All right, so I'm gonna uh, track but... my heat on the adder. Okay. Uh, he sinks four and accumulates two. Okay, accumulates two. That's that's delicious. Yep. It's gonna be good news, them Marauder. He's gonna have to make sure he doesn't fall down the hill. Oh, uh, however, yeah. However, my other... His compatriot is the eight. Side by side, they're firing downhill at that Marauder. Oh god. So what weapons can the gargoyle bring to bear? Gauz rifle, yeah. LRM ten, and uh, that's it. That's Other it. ones the SRM four. Yeah, four. and we're not at medium. And he's skilled two as well, so we're looking for threes. No. Fours. Right? Skill two. Oh you're right, no targeting computer. No targeting. Fours. Yeah, Very come good. on. Yeah. Ha, 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 we got you. I'm yeah. like rolling dice. Right. I just want to say what my weapons do. I mean, oh my god. I'll say as if you'll ever roll below a four. <laughs> right, I mean, right. Like the difference between three and four hey, matters, last right? Last night, I missed all kinds of fours and fives. I know, dude. <laughs> that was amazing. That was a great one. All right, gauze rifle for five damage. Need that four. Okay, got, got it. it. So that's, was a five you said? Five damage. Where is that going? Head. Right. Oh, almost. Left leg. The left leg. I the love when leg. you juice it around. It's the <laughs> best leg. All right. However. LRM 10, um, right. Artemis, Artemis, one plus action. M. Yeah. So looking for my four. Got it. You sure? Yeah. Damn it. Possible. <laughs> well, let's let's roll that M and see if it lands. It All does. Right, so, so you do a group of one and a group of two. Yep. Group right. of one hits the Marauder in the three. That's the right arm. And the two hits the Marauder in the left leg. So, oh, 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 oh. Yeah, left leg. Left leg. Yeah. yeah. Two on that check. Oh, plus two. Yeah, I took uh, 14 points of damage. Yeah, most certainly I did. Yeah, all right. So let me... Uh, are you done shooting at the Marauder, you think? No. Okay, well then I won't make my piloting check. Um, Not yet. Um, okay, so you were... We were on what initiative we're on count? Eights. We are on eights. Yep. You're, you did all your sevens, or these were eights? These were my eights. Okay, I... we, we don't have any eights, right? Nope, I have a nine. You have a nine? You have a nine? I have a nine. Um, that's my Timberwolf. Okay. Um... He's a butthead. He's a butthead. We already know He's that. He's got a lot of weapons. And he knows one of the biggest threats on the board is that Muller. Is that third objective. <laughs> <laughs> Over here. <laughs> the objectives were just a distraction. <laughs> uh, All right, they're extreme range of that Muller. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. Giving him a plus four penalty. Skill okay. two is a six. Okay. No TMM? No TMM, but he is submerged, so plus one for partial cover. Sevens. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's get sevens on those LRM 20s. Mm, got it. Of course you did. Um, let's <laughs> roll the MM. Okay. So two M's. 
And missed them both. Missed That's them still both. Eight still damage. eight points of damage. I mean, it's like absurdity. So, like missiles slamming in here. Yeah, location on that Muller. Four. So that is a right arm. Right arm. So eight to the right arm is going to be pretty nasty, uh, if, I, if I'm not mistaken. That's it's probably going to go yeah, internal. Crit, yeah. yeah. All right. So quick confirmation, Matt. Woo! I love it. I love it. But uh, the knight's young, and we still have those ER large lasers. Also need those um, sevens, right? Okay. Yeah. All right. Do it. Eights. All right. So that hits. Roll for location. Maybe left arm and then seven the damage. Oh, okay, the right arm's gone. Damage bleeding into the armor of the torso section there. Your large laser group offline, targeting damaged. That timber wolf, that jerk face clanner doing his job. Um, so, what else do we have here? Uh, last mech is the Hellbringer. Okay, now he's, he's, a, he's like a 13 though on the initiative scale, right? Yeah. yeah so, we got a uh, Wolverine up. You got a Wolverine up, okay. There he is. Glorious Wolverine. I'm going to try to bring it to the Hellbringer. Uh, Maybe I'll hit with the large laser. Well, he's got no edge, at least. So there's that. I do have edge. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, that, that large yeah. laser count. Let's do it. I think nines again, Nine. right? Yeah. It's like all we need nines is Nines are like beyond our threshold right now. Yeah, it's just unhittable. All Except right. for the Wolverine. Oh, the Wolverine is the champion. <laughs> so right. much oh. armor. Yeah. So we got to roll for location Three here. Three damage, right. Go for the chest. There it is, right. torso. Still did puncture though. We're nope. just, just we're just also yeah. stunned by the fact that you just destroyed objectives so quickly. We have no idea what's going on anymore. Yeah. That's, that's it. Nine. I have an eleven. Do I have mean you have an eleven? You have the annihilator. Uh, okay. So yeah, I think you run your your eleven. Uh, it goes me, and then you had the B, right? So I think it goes my. No, I'm a thirteen. Yeah, I got an eleven in there that we were competing with. That was last turn. Yeah, it's just you and I. So the Shadowhawk is up. Oh, I'm sorry. Stormcrow is B. Yeah, you're right. Storm. Uh, it's like, geez. You don't want to shoot. That's well, fine. I'll lower it. You should have just let her go. Yeah. Right. <laughs> it looks like an eight, not a B. Well, I was worried. You're like, that was last turn. I'm like, did I not even do anything this turn? I was like, what happened? <laughs> did I go in a time warp? It feels that way. Uh, uh so. Shadowhawk. He's going to try to pile onto the Hellbringer. With his LRM 20. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we'll start with the PPC. <laughs> this is madness. Oh, man. Um, five. So it's going to be a nine for the PPC. Obviously nothing great. Come on, man. I have faith in you. Mm. It's 50-50, but I do. It's just like not worth it. Yeah, I know. I have to get it. Yeah. All right. So LRM five. Um, yeah, LRM five. So the same is just gonna be it's gonna be a seven, yeah. Seven. It's gonna be a little easier. Got it. Hey, all right. Five. So, so rolling the one uh, yeah, just one M, and I think the max damage is two anyway. Yeah. So, so all right. All right. So, so two damage. So two two pips of one. Or two, First one yeah. pip. Yep. To the nine, nine hole. Nine. Left leg. Okay. Ha. Next one pipper. It's torso. torso. That's, oh, that's that structure. <laughs> Yeah, that torso. <laughs> yes. All right, so you got to confirm <laughs> A plus. Let's not get ahead of myself. Oh, oh that could be edge. Worth. You could edge It's edge worthy. Nah, we haven't done anything over eight. <laughs> <laughs> we, we need some seven target numbers. Oh my gosh, it's so true. Uh, so the annihilator's up. He sprinted. Oof. Yeah. So Loki, right? Hellbringer. Stormcrow. Stormcrow. I don't know. Stormcrow, yeah. Yep. He's the one that's up. Stormcrow. So Stormcrow. he's staring down at that Mauler as well. We know how big of a threat those LRMs are and those okay. DC2, so we're going to peck at him. Okay. Yeah. Well, we're, we would require me to hit. A crow would do that. Storm yeah. Crow would do that. I so see you, I see ER large there. lasers, you know how <laughs> they reach out to um, extended range? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a skill three pilot. Okay. So, uh, three? Seven. Seven, yeah. yeah. Eight because right. I'm, I'm submerged. Because you're in water. Yeah. Let me clear this out of the way. All right, let's prepare, go eights. Prepare for your... Yes. No eights. Yes. With all the Stormcrow wrote this round. All right. Well, this was brutal. Uh, I don't even know what turn. It was this turn 10 yet? Uh, it's like turn it's four. Three, four. Turn four, I believe. Have you recovered from your shock yet? No. This is madness. Anything uh, about it's Annihilator time. No, the Annihilators can't do anything. He sprinted. Uh, so he's just stuck. 
Any other 11s out there? No. 12s? We're done. Uh, We're side. done. The Hellbringer is the last oh, okay. guy on the field. Okay. Yeah, he sees everyone trying to knock him out. I was hoping out. we were done, but... He's like, armor melting off his chest. Um, so he needs to make contact with these long-range weapons before he's out. All right. Which um, model was this one? The Hellbringer. No, no, no I'm the sorry, B. like the variant. Oh, B. Yeah, no, it's, it's like... a gauze rifle and LBX-5. Yeah. Um, Mauler time. Gotta <sighs> peck out the big guy. <clears throat> okay. Uh, looking for those eights again yeah. as well. Let's go. Eights. Got Nine. It. Got it. All right, that group does seven damage. Oh, the mm. Gauss rifles are brutal. Torso. Center torso. All right, uh, that's one. The good part. news is the center torso is pretty good. Yeah, well, I actually just peeled it, but yeah, it's got no, nothing. No, no, you didn't. It's you have one pip left. Oh, good. I got like a paint check, a little paint paint chip hanging. Yeah, uh, like I'm a uh, down. Uh, <laughs> uh, what else you got? Anything else? That's that's everything. That's everything. Yeah. You're are you done murdering us for this round? Okay, we'll see what happens next. So. Oh. I was marking it <clears throat> for you. So really interesting dynamics so far. Eight on five. Uh, granted, you are camping the hill like a turd. Uh, still, we really are having trouble. Intersphere having trouble. Clan with better piloting overall, right? You have right. three elites. We have two. Um, and, and, you know, by volume, you have much higher, you know, better pilots and more guns, you know, coming out of those those low skills, I think. Uh, we just can't connect. We're having trouble dealing damage, and you are carving us up. I think it's a vulnerable spot for the uh, DCMS. Um, I've got an advantage with weapons at extended range. Yeah. Um, just so it's kind of the and... attrition you pay to close distance. I just feel like the next few rounds will have a change in dynamic. We'll see. Yeah. We'll yeah. see. I think the fact that we have survived, you know, we'll be able to bring some guns to bear next round. It is true. We still have. However, I wouldn't count your chickens yet because I think you have a few pilot checks. Oh, it's a good point. Um, so I Even have the Mauler could drown. <laughs> the Mauler Mauler could drown here, guys. Um, what do I need? Four. He's at a plus three. He's at a plus two. That's why. So I, I need a seven. Wow. A seven or better on the Mauler. Got it. Wow, excellent roll. I mean, I like how we're like that would be terrifying. We're like seven yeah. excellent rolls there. <laughs> Very like... high number. <laughs> And then the the Marauder needs a six. Don't fail me now. Nice. Did not fail me. He uh, soars into the so instead of here. instead of falling, I actually shoot you in the head. That's how this <laughs> game works, right? You gain special <laughs> All right. So I made I made both of those. That's a that's Your a sigh relief. Super Saiyan. The question is, did any of your guys take twenty? I don't or seven points. I should say. I um, I was three. Like five. Four. Yeah, the Hellbringer took five, and we barely did anything else. Yeah, it'll be totally that's whipped on. The only mech that's taken damage so far. All right. Well, that's embarrassing. Uh, we'll have to do better next round. So, guys, uh, is it turn five next, Kevin? Is this only turn four coming up? I don't think it's five yeah. coming up, I believe. Let's believe it's five. It's five coming up. Five coming up. All right, so, guys, Which stay tuned. Still just demoralizing. It is demoralizing. We'll see what happens. It's coming up next, turn five. Jaguar still circling at the top of the hill. The combine still pushing forward. It's like it's like what's that? Pickett's charge. Pickett's charge. Yeah, I mean, is that is that charge late? A blip brigade. Yeah, I mean, it's just like they are doing their best here. And you know, we were talking about it off camera. Matt feels dirty for just camping the hill, but like the reality is, like, what else would you do? I mean, if you charge down into medium range, you're going to get shredded. And we haven't forced them off the hill. We haven't destroyed anything. We haven't even damaged anything aside from that Loki. So you think about this in real time, I'm a clan pilot. I'm just putting things in slow reverse and nuking things that are charging at me. But dynamics gonna change soon. We are getting closer, we're closing the gap and that hill is going to obstruct some line of sight, uh, you know, aiming down because you can't shoot through the dirt. So we'll see what happens. On my side, um, you know, Kev, you wanna, you, wanna, you wanna talk about your dudes first? They think you have more interesting moves than I did. I mean, we're all just kind of pressing the hill. You know, everybody's pushing up. I mean, in, in a way, it helps that your assaults can't keep up because they need to cool off. <laughs> cool down. I mean, they're bleeding. So, yeah. yeah, I mean, we're pushing up the middle with the catapult and the shadow hawk. And Wolverine working his way around. Uh, I'm going to try to still press on that um, Loki up there. The, the crab started to move again to help that marauder. You know, yeah. not much going on other than trying to get up that hill. Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, my awesome is doing what he can. Marauder's really leading the charge there, taking a lot of fire, but being fearless. Uh, that Annihilator is just, I mean, continues to move forward. Um, oh, and that's actually, he sprinted. I didn't mark him correctly. Um, it's just, it's an abysmally slow mech. Um, the Mauler just barely got out of the, you know, the, the depth one over there and, you know, still has no TMM, still carrying one point of heat, but, uh, yeah. And now without large lasers really, uh, really, really hampered, I think. So what about on your side, Matt? Again, this is about a gun line, uh, preserving my TMM and keeping the Drax in extended range. Yeah. Uh, it won't last forever. So let's take the advantage of the opportunity while we can. Yeah. So it's this one of the few turns left to put down big damage. Well, it is turn five. That is the uh, that is a turn of death and destruction. So Kevin, I think you get to kick it off, right? Um, or actually, Matt, you get to kick us off, man. right? Yeah, you have five. My timber yeah, wolf. Your timber wolf rolled yep. shockingly rolled the lowest. Yeah, he'll do his LRMs and ER large lasers on the Muller. Okay. Kind of destroy that long range threat. Yep. Um, looking for uh, sevens. Okay. Because he no longer has cover from water. All right, sounds good. Yep. Let's do it. Come on, sevens. Just shy. How come the molar didn't get a TMM? Because he uh, has the heat penalty. Mm. All right. Still ER large lasers. Yeah. Still hunting for those sevens. Uh, Got it. All uh, right. Hit me in the leg. Go seven, for the legs. Seven damage is no joke. No, it's no joke. Five. That's the right leg. I love it. Right leg. It's so good. Uh, that's give me that, more. <laughs> that's his delicious leg right there. Yeah, all scored damage. up from yeah. He's getting scarred up though. Yeah, pretty bad, yeah, pretty bad. The smaller is is getting banged getting mauled. up, <laughs> getting mauled. Yes. Um. Okay. So, uh, that was number five. We have number, we have a bunch of sixes on the initiative order. Uh, I know I've got the the annihilator, uh, awesome. the annihilator who sprinted. He can't do anything. The awesome. Uh, is going to fire uphill. Matt, can you measure range to both the Adder and the Gargoyle? Uh, adder is in uh, extreme. extreme range. And the um, I'm long on that. Gargoyle is long. I'm going for the Gargoyle. What do you think? I mean, we want to hit something. <laughs> I just want to, yeah. you know, hit anything. All right, let, let me have those those delicious combine dice. Let's just get the moral victory. I'm, gonna, I'm pretty sure I need nines. Three, four, nine. Versus a 10. One, two, nine. And we're there. <laughs> so close. Guys. Oh my gosh. All right. So that is the awesome. Who else is a six? My Annihilator, we said he sprinted. You have any sixes on your side? No. Nope. We're moving on to the sevens. That's. Uh, that is. Seven. You have a seven. Your I have a. Marauder. You have a. You have a B, I have an A, right? I have a, I have a B and a C. Yeah. And okay. So. Device. Yeah. My Marauder's got to go first. Okay. So Marauder should be at long range to the Adder, right? Is there any cover, Kev? Because uh, that that Adder is crested, you know, pretty far back on the hill. Can they, from the from the Marauder. Marauder. Yeah. What do you think? I don't think so. I mean, from nope. the Adder's legs, I can see the Marauder. So. Okay. Perfect. All right. So I'm going to shoot up at the Adder. That is at long range. Uh, I'm going to continue the the pressure there. So nines. This is what we need. All right. Right? We haven't hit a nine tonight. Haven't hit a nine tonight. So I'm gonna go for PPCs and AC5 again. PPCs first. Oh. I'm gonna edge it. Do it, do it. Ouch. Unreal. AC, nothing. Um, this is awful. This is the most awful, like, I, I mean, I, it's statistically accurate because nines are just no joke. <laughs> oh. R and Jesus is upset with us. Yes. <sighs> wow. Okay, so um, Kev, don't forget if you would be so kind, mark his edge off for me I on that. Do that. Oh, thank you. All right. Well, I, I I'm, I'm yeah, I'm I'm at a loss here. I don't know what to do. Uh, I mean, I literally have not hit with like anything, yeah, uh, except rough. for the except for the mauler. I felt good about I think that. We should just sprint for melee. I think we should just sprint <laughs> off the table edge. <laughs> um. So what what else do we have here? So we were at sevens. We're moving up to I have eights. An eight. I have a catapult. I'll be at two sevens. For oh, you have two sevens, right? And right. gargoyle. Okay. Um, Gargoyle is my first one to go, okay. pointing downhill at the Marauder. Okay. Mm. Uh, they are in long range. Yeah, they're at long. Uh, skill two. Okay. Uh, using his gauze rifle, that's a four, five. five for his TMM. Okay, and there's no cover from the rocks or anything like that from where you're sitting? 
Don't be, covers his... Don't be kind. <laughs> I mean, I know, I know you feel lap, bad for us right now. Okay, so then that's not enough. All right. Now I'll also join the LRM-10 in with that. Afterwards. Okay. Yep. All right. Here we go. Good for this. <clears throat> Ooh, Miss. I love it. All right. Uh, LRM-10. Okay. Come on, dice. Okay, got, got that. It. So I'll take the LRM-10. It's an Artemis, so what is it? Two plus M. You can re-roll because of the Artemis. Excellent. All right, miss so that, both. that miss both. Yep. All right. So, so one damage location. One damage. Awful. So that is right arm. Yep. How's that one doing, Kev? Mm, one pip. Oh, that's good. So I'll take yeah. two there. There's a one pip. One pip or one two? Pip. Just one. Okay. Two total on that right arm. All right. So that's oh, not nice. bad. Uh, I, you know, I feel a little bit better about that. Death has been delayed. Oh, Kev. What's not over yet, though. Uh, uh, on number eight. Hellbringer. Oh. Is oh. my other seven. Um, he can't say anything. He's right behind the timber wolf. <laughs> he's got no line of sight. I think he's gonna stay on that mauler. Okay. And try to take care of that threat. His weapons being these those pair of ER yeah. large lasers. Uh, oh no no, he's got the Gauss the LBX on the uh, the Hellbringer. Oh sorry, yeah Gauss LBX. You're you're already on the Stormcrow, bro. Right? I know. I mean, Wait. settle down, Matt. I mean, God, ER large lasers for days. Gauss rifle LBX five. All right. <laughs> Still angry. Um, uh, skill three though. Yeah. Um, that puts Jeez. it to a seven. Okay. Because you have no TMM. I have no TMM. What a okay. shame. I, I long for a right seven. on the seven. <laughs> oh, unreal. Like, and if he had an eight, guys, or a nine, he would have missed. But no. All right, roll for All right, location seven damage. You filthy clanner. Right in the six. Right in the right in the six hole, as they say. Uh, so that's that six wrong. points of damage. Seven. Seven. Yeah. So seven to the chest. Now. That's going to be a crit confirm. And it's enforced withdrawal. And it's enforced. All right, so roll oh, that crit confirmation. All right. I'm, I'm, not, four, again, eight. I'm not going to edge the location. Just short. All right, so he is enforced withdrawal. Uh, he's going to have to make yeah, uh, the blue. blue. Yep, and so we're going to have to use uh, maybe some command points uh, from, from the CO to, to help boost his, his guts this round. All right, so... What are we on to now? Eights, right? Now we're finally moving up the chain. We get to fire back a little bit. All right, so catapult. <clears throat> I have an 8B. Uh, a. Yeah. My 8 was a 2-4. Yep, you go first. Oh, I go first. Two oh, two. you go first. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So now it's a Stormcrow. Okay, now yeah. it's a Stormcrow. Um, Finishing off the mauler. Exactly. Okay. That's the pair of ER large lasers yes. I'm so excited to You're put into so you. so excited. They're like, so angry. All right. Um, Skill 3. Yeah. Seven. Sevens. Sevens again. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Got him. Mm. Location. Uh, four seven. Uh, I'll take it. Eleven. It's a left arm. Left arm. Goes one pip internal. Uh, so go ahead and roll the confirmation. Confirmation misses. Nothing. Now we can get on to Kevin's catapult. Now we get to shoot back. Uh, I'm hoping maybe something can connect here. I, I just can't believe these big assaults. The Marauder, obviously not assault, but still big. Yeah, still big. The awesome. Unbelievable. Awesome's been neutered. And I will tell you, neutered. the Annihilator, as much as I love the model, not on these maps. The speed is such a handicap. Such a huge handicap. But it comes with all that armament. Yeah. Just gotta find a way to get into play. Gotta find a way. Uh, the Catapult's gonna try to hit that Hellbringer. He can see him. Yep, yeah, I love long it. long range. Okay. Nines, then? <clears throat> We skill two. Five. Oh, the catapult needs eights. <gasps> As if it made a difference. Yeah. All right. So here we go. No edge. Just raw. I don't know what I wasted it on. <laughs> the depression of the combine. This is the this is the fall of the Ultimark militia. I'm gonna take them all outside and reprime <laughs> them and paint them as something else after this oh, match. God. Uh, any other eights? Uh, it's a good question. What's down my neck of the woods there? Nope, Nothing. Nine, I have Just a nine. nine. I've got a nine. All right, so moving up the chain then. Um, my nine, our nines are three fours. Mine's a two. Yeah, so you, uh, so You'll we have to go last. first. Yeah, so you I can. Go first? Yeah, sure. Get some, some try to get some retaliation. Get, so then off some steam. Can you measure range between the mauler and the Loki? I mean, you shot yeah. at the, the mauler, so they're extreme, right? Yeah. Okay, we don't need to remeasure then. All right. So the Mauler is going to fire back at the Hellbringer, a.k.a. Loki, a.k.a. Loser Face. <laughs> <laughs> a.k.a. Paper Thin Armor. Yeah, right. Uh, With left, a.k.a. Hit the Legs. Yeah. Oh, you know what? 
I just realized one thing. The mauler actually doesn't, his ER larges aren't grouped. They aren't grouped. And great, you have one. So I over. still have one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Intriguing. All right, so guys, the way that works, just to recap, when you take a weapon hit, it knocks everything out of the group. Matt and I were talking about this last night about the dynamic of this game. It's very interesting. So if you decide to group all your weapons, like in the grasshopper, right? I mean, it's a power multiplier. Power multiplier. And a vulnerability for location damage. Exactly. Do you diversify or do you load up? It's right. a choice to make with the design. Right, and you get up to, in, in Destiny, you can choose, maximum you can have five ticks. Yeah. So you can't just like have all your weapons on chain fire. I think it has an interesting dynamic, right? Versus classic where you can do that. I, I, I think mean, so I, too. I think ticks are in the, like the advanced tactical operations. But Somewhere, right. But the, this implementation I think is really good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is great. So anyway, so I'm gonna fire I everything. Know, I would burn Not hot. Yeah, it's just gonna I'm say, gonna move. Dude, Fucking he's one pip left. Back up in the water. <laughs> 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 All right. So we're gonna start here. I need uh, nines again. Everything's right? a plus four. Yeah, not, not, not yet. Yeah, nines. Fives. Matt says fives. I need fives, guys. <laughs> uh, so nines, it is. We're gonna start with that uh, that AC two group. Gonna go with the large laser. Yes, ER large. Edge. Come on. Muller has his edge, unless I'm mistaken. No, he still has it. LRM fifteens. Come on. Edge. Yep. Question Tension is. Here. 50% versus... This might be his last chance with favorable distance. Yeah. Not trying it's to the best weapon you shot. got. It's the 4 plus MM. Burn it. Mm. It hurts, guys. Mm. It's, it's like visceral. You can... <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what to say. I haven't hit any of them. Uh, these, these guys are not destined to win this battle. Was that everything? Uh, that, that's everything he had. I missed everything everything on that Gosh. mauler 90 tons all those guns not a single thing that's a that's a poem uh, <laughs> it's, it's a poem it's a haiku now. it's a it's a it's, it's, it's the haiku of luthien hmm. uh the, the alton mark haiku of death uh it couldn't hit a thing it's 99 amazing weapons and a hitting run <laughs> <laughs> well done kevin well done uh so Moving up the initiative order here. So we, we just... Uh, I have a nine. Here, I got my you have a nine. So he crabs up, and then we move to Alex. Matt's uh, awful clan max. <laughs> All right, I'm going to try for that adder. This is a thrashing, Matt. Yeah, yeah, this is just a combination of situations. I mean, I just... Playing to advantages. But just imagine if, like, one of our nines would have hit. It's just a... Damn Plus, you know, RNG has been rough, clearly. Yeah. It has been rough. But I mean, any moment that could change. Of it's course. too late. We know this I think it's too late, but we'll see. All right, Kev. I mean, I will just say that, yeah, I'll save it for the, the post action report. All right. But, but Clan Shine, again. Yes, that, I think so. <clears throat> um, uh, all right, so you need a nine. Yeah, pretty much everything's a nine from this point forward. Yep. Right? Yeah. Here we go. Matt saw the five, he, he smiled for a moment. He was like, oh, guys, I feel so good for you. Matt's just a nice guy. Uh, but it is, Any no. Tens? No, there's just nothing nine. going on. My other, the last, the yeah. last of the nines. Let's do it. I think so, you, oh, I you got the Shadowhawk at the 12. Staring right? down the hill, as victims are the Marauder, the awesome, awesome somewhat neutered. Yeah. If I can only get one shot off. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna send it at the Marauder, trying okay. to get lucky. Yeah. So a single ERPPC so we can vent his heat. That's five damage. He yeah. has a targeting computer, and they're at um, long range. Yep. Um, skill two. Uh, plus one is three. Plus one for TM is four. You're shooting at the the Marauder. Yeah. Two, three, and your mod's only one. Four. Your long range. Your long range mod is only one. Yep. Targeting computers, guys. It's crazy. There it is. I'm bleeding karma now. Yeah, well, I mean, you're bleeding karma. Did you spend your edge? <laughs> we're not spending our edge on that. Yeah, we're not gonna spend our edge on that, okay. I would. Yeah. I think you should Where do is? it. Uh, all right, so, wow, uh, that was glorious. Uh, feels good, feels it feels like some sort of, uh, a little bit of a bonus. So Kev, I think the Shadowhawk's up next, right? We passed 10 and 11. Oh, did we do 10? Do you have any 10s in our lives? You're done. done, you're done, right? Yeah, I think the Shadowhawk's right. last. Shadowhawk mm -hmm. and Wolverine as well. Yeah. So Shadowhawk has PTC and LRM5. Uh -oh. Crab down. 
Gonna go for that Hellbringer. All right. Um, we'll start with the PPC as always. <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> He's dead. What do I do? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. We'll we'll get him later. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's why I call it silly tech. That's true. I glue nothing. All right. <clears throat> because you know we upgraded the basis of the new sweet ones, so yeah, I was able to swap them right off. So PPC needs a nine to hit that Hellbringer. Shock a nine again. All day long. All day. There it is. Boom. PPC. Shadowhawk's the only one that's like hitting anybody. I know. He's Shadowhawk the is the, he is the hero, no doubt about it. And Hellbringer has no edge. Right. His chest armor is stripped. He's just naked. Re ready Four for damage. Forty five percent chance to kill. There, there it is. is. How much? Seven. Four uh, oh, four. Oh, oh, God, I thought it was the right. I'm thinking that the Seven twin lane. five. Things could get Well, wait a minute. You got to confirm a crit, brother. Yeah. I know. I know. Okay, okay. Give me time to save I'm just so one, excited. the one hit we got. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no. No. Now, wait a minute. We implement the new XL engine rules here. So yeah. we roll one die. Five plus is an engine hit. All right, so now you roll normally on the D6 table. Critical hit. Gyro. Three. Such a gyro, gyro. hit. Gyro. Gyro hit. Fantastic. Is that like an auto fall? Uh, it's like plus three to the piloting check or something. I have the table yeah. here. Uh, gyro hit plus three. I thought it was like an automatic fall. When you destroy it. Mm. Yeah. Okay. But you still have your LRM5. Yeah. It's gonna oh, Not nice. to be confused with an LRM10. <laughs> Come on. Need a seven here. Did gyros right. always have two criticals? Yes. <clears throat> Uh, they had three in classic, or no? They have two in classic. Engine, engine had three in classic, yeah. So this this drop for some reason you got. Uh, so two. LRM five. Yep. I only need seven. Seven. Yeah. Come on. There it oh, is. God, it. VIP of the round. Let's go oh, for that man. M. Got it. Got one it. extra damage. I so. mean, even just the extra pip to that chest. Let's see where right. one pip hits. Oh. Hey! <laughs> one structure left. All right. Well, let's let's the we're saving. Pit? We're saving. There it is, it's destroyed. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Shadowhawk does it, Kevin. 20% of your force this. destroyed. Watch this. <laughs> and it's over. Okay, you better retreat, man. He's gonna get the This is the this golden is katana when he returns home. <laughs> so good. Uh so, but it's not over yet. Your Wolverine's gonna get a headshot on that Timberwolf and kill it. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Matt, this like, is how the tables turn. That's true. Um, All right, so what do you think? Wolverine, thinking? Yeah, yeah, so he's just got that one large laser. I think they're in long range. Measure that. They are in long range. Okay. So he'll go after that Timberwolf. Okay. What do I, how about how the Stormcrow? Uh, the Stormcrow is close. He is Stream? just oh, outside of it. Timberwolf is deadlier. I think. I don't know. Timberwolf is much deadlier. Uh, nine. I'm not even sure why I'm trying to do the math. <laughs> we just think so. Oh, you oh, right. <laughs> oh, baby, guys. So just a large is... laser. Only three damage. I'm okay. tree three. The left flank here, pulling it together for the combine. In a ten spot. So it's going to be the left arm. I mean, that's where all the, the nasty stuff is anyway. Oof. Um, okay, well, I mean, we salvaged something there at the end. But this was a vicious turn. Now I'm trying to think if right. anybody has piloting checks to make. The Mauler uh, most certainly does. Yeah. Um, the Marauder, I think. Did he didn't did he didn't get well. hit? He rolled he rolled yeah. double ones on the Marauder. Oh, That's you it. just hit his arm, right? I said the Mauler uh, got this so one the, that got beat up. Yeah. Now I'm trying to remember how much damage he actually took. I I, I think it was. Um, it was five to the right leg. Um, it's like another seven. Seven to the, to the left arm. Seven to the torso. So he's a plus two. So is it a plus two? Yeah. Yeah. And that's no good. And I used my edge. And the London Bridge is falling down. Should right. We, should we give him some command? Uh, I can't. Not on a on a not on a fall check. On only on a morale check. Mm. Right. So he's going down. He's going down. All right. Does the pilot take damage? No. But the mech falls down, he takes yep. three pips. Okay, you gotta roll. Stuff. All right, locations, one pip per location. I mean, a, any any point of damage to his torso, he's dead, right? He's only got one pip of structure. Oh my gosh. This is devastating. Nine. Ooh, left leg. Keep rolling. It's, you do you do a pip and yeah. you have to split it by one damage? Yeah, there he is, he's done. 
He's done. Ouch. He's done, right? He only has one pip of structure in his torso. What's he got no, left? He's in? got three. In the oh, he's side. got three. So I can confirm this uh, and then roll the last pip. Yeah, you can confirm it. Confirm it. Not no confirmed. confirmed. All right, and then your last pip. Oh, I thought he had one pip left. Also, Eight. but we we did our confirmation. We right. talked about this. We're not going to do a second confirmation. Yeah, yeah. All right. So he takes two more pips to his torso. I thought he had one left. I'm, let's. He does now. That card's far Sick away. Burn. <laughs> Sick burn. Uh, I like how you don't even want to be near your cards. <laughs> I'm just I'm just like all the way over here, guys. I don't even want to see it. Kevin, just mark it for me. Uh, it's too depressing. Too depressing. The combine doing their best, but hey, listen. We haven't lost a mech yet, Matt. Yeah, I'm the one who's losing. Uh, that mauler still still hanging around. Mm -hmm. Now, the one thing I will say is that the mauler doesn't need to make a morale check before we wrap up this turn. The good news is, is I don't even think he can get in the water. He can't, he can't <laughs> even back up. He can just stand up. He can just stand up at this point. Uh, so I'm trying to. He he didn't take any criticals. Oh, he's got the weapon hit. Yeah. He's got one critical. He's got a missing arm. Uh, he has, right, taken damage this turn, so that's a plus two to his, to his target number for morale. Mm -hmm. His base is a seven, right, because he's a three, four. So I'm, I'm basically at a nine right now. Yeah. All right, so I can give him it's plus... Not even, it's not even worth giving the command. Just, just, just get out of here, buddy. <laughs> What's his guts? Does he have guts? You have none. That he I has no see. guts. He just has tactics for secondary skills. All right. I wouldn't even get wasted on him because he needs to cool down anyway. Like, okay. He's not going anywhere. He's got like zero movement. Fair point. So we're just going to roll on a nine. He doesn't. He wants, he just wants to stay in the fight, That's Kevin. Fine. See that? Okay. He's a true combine soldier for the dragon. I can do this. For the dragon. All right. You will not know such honor. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> you spotted fiend. <laughs> All right. So. <laughs> it's free bar. Uh, I just don't know what's good for them. God, it's too good. Uh, so anyway, despite the massacre, this is a pretty, this is a pretty fun game. I mean, like. In all honesty, if I were the clans and I had a bunch of inner sphere dudes like oh. furiously charging at me because I just blew up their infrastructure, yeah. I would do the same thing. I'd just sit on the hill and blow them away and cackle. Well, all this um, delaying tactic we're doing is to um, evacuate these POWs. It's true. Yeah. So the, the more turns that I can get these um, militiamen held back, the more you know prisoners we can save. Well, we'll see what happens next because yeah. turn six is coming right up. So guys, stay tuned for more. Perched on the edge of the ridge, they had to move forward, else line of sight would have been a little bit obscured. These smoke jaguars now staring down a bunch of stationary combine mechs. The orders coming down uh, from the uh, the commander to just hold the line and open fire because eights are achievable, whereas nines, Kevin, <laughs> just completely unachievable. Uh, so some some exciting and heroic things. Yeah. Uh, the Marauder is uh, making his way up the hill, trudging upward, taking cover in the rocks. Heat uh, levels are manageable. The Mauler also managing to stand up, and despite being uh, in a status of crippling damage, he uh, made his morale check, as you guys saw, and he is uh, he's able to return fire. Um, and, you know, one thing that is great about these minis, look at that, no arm. It's very, it's like lifelike damage. So modular. Uh, so modular. Uh, and this Wolverine, Kevin, tell us, tell us about this Wolverine, the hero. Yes, he's, he's scaling the slope, pressing his luck. <laughs> he's going to make it in there. Besides that, the rest of that medium lance just planting, you know? Yeah. Like, I mean, it, it would take me probably four turns to get up that hill, so why bother even trying to get into medium range? Just It's just going to be a gun battle at this point. Uh, Kevin and Water I... Water somehow did it, though. What's that? <laughs> the Marauder somehow did it. I mean, he, yeah, well, him and the Wolverine, they're, they're making good, good progress. He's in medium, though, right? What's that? He is, I think, finally in medium range. It could, it could happen, guys. We, <laughs> it could hit something. Uh, so, Matt, tell us what, uh, what you have going on right, right here specifically. What happened there? Yeah, Looks the tragic. Hellbringer uh, unceremoniously was destroyed. Oh, yeah. Poor guy. As is, you know, expected. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's, yeah, these things Paper happen. Thin armor. Yeah. So the rest of the mechs coming up to the hill's edge, so they have line of sight on the mechs as they're closing to the base of the hill. Yeah, I love it. All right, well, we're going to just start shooting, uh, and we've just been sort of agilely moving through the initiative count. Uh, yeah. So, Kevin, I believe you had a three on the catapult, so he's going to kick us off. Correct. I love stationary PPCs. We have to do something here, guys. This is huge. The question is, I guess I go for... What are my sensors telling me? 
<laughs> Are you within 16 inches? Wow. Oh, uh, we a haven't clean, damaged. A clean bill of health across the you board. You got hit in the, in the shoulder. Fair enough. We'll I go mean, for that shoulder. We're gonna aim right for the shoulder. So we're gonna go for that <clears throat> Timberwolf. All right, let's take the Star Captain down. Do you Star Captain? Star Colonel. Mad oh, okay. Cat, Sorry. We'll I just go for the the Mad Cat. <laughs> Steiner, perhaps. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. a traitor. Sh Steiner, Colonel Starkiner. No, the, the <laughs> Smoke Jags would never allow that. <laughs> True Borns oh, only. Oh my god, it's too funny. Or else is right. inferior. Star Steiner. It's a gold member. Eight. <laughs> oh! oh! Kevin, you're on fire. You've hit so, You've hit two turns in a row. Are those grouped? Uh, they are, dude. These are twin linked PPCs. That's like 40k lingo for you right there. Twin linked twin PPCs. Links, yeah. <clears throat> but like they are cannons. Yeah, they they are in uh they are like last cannons. It's a right... roll location before you come up with any crazy ideas. <sighs> 11's a great location. No, that's the is that the same army hit? Oh yeah. shit, it is. Get yes, it dude, get it in What's there. Seven damage. Seven. Oh my gosh. High five. One of those high five. Of high five. <laughs> that goes in the structure. Roll that crit. Roll that. <laughs> Ammo in the arm. Matt, we don't mean we don't mean to team up, but no, I understand. We, we haven't hit anything all oh, game. No. This is very exciting for us. <laughs> well, no crit. You know his shoulder box is definitely pretty bad. Yeah, yeah, all it's right. true. Catapult earned his laurels. So yeah. He's a three. Uh, he, yeah, he's number three. So I thought you were gonna edge that roll. I mean, that's why I was. Like, I was going to. I was, I was like, I need this location. Jump on quick. that before I can edge it. <laughs> um, Save that edge was really important though. So yeah, we're moving up the initiative order. Number four. Number five. Four. It's gargoyle. Gargoyle's four. Yeah. yeah gargoyle. Steering down. Uh, I can see the Marauder probably gets a plus one cover bonus from the rocks there. Looks good to me. Yeah. Well, yeah. it won't be enough to save him. Let's see what the gargoyle can <laughs> hit him with. Are we doing Matt. the true sight cover rule? So that's a good question, Kevin. We decided. I, we have not decided. I think for now, we we were playing last night. I think Without we it. just did plus one because yeah. actually I didn't think about it. Oh. But we played in classic. What what Kevin's talking about in classic? We played in a strategic ops book. There, it's what they call like true true line of sight or whatever. Mm -hmm. So if like my left arm and left leg are in cover, you All can't right. hit them. So if you roll that location, mm -hmm. you don't hit them. You know which is fun. But for now, I think we'll just play the, the plus coming. one until until we get. I think more established rules. There were a few things we've been talking about. Sure. Some good old fashioned classic cool rules. Cool things that just be fine and we want to work through them and understand how to affect the game. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So um, so based on that, you can't hit anything. Just no line of sight. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Yeah. Uh, so just a plus one. Just a plus two. one. Yeah. Um, and this is a medium ranger. Which thing, means right? he's only hitting at fours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, basically, I have no TMM from the heat, so. Gauze rifle. Yeah. Um, Skill two, no TMM, medium range, no penalty. Oh, so you automatically hit? Yeah. Oh, what cover? Three. Oh yeah, three, yeah. That's one of those threes. The rocks will save me, Matt. The viewers have already, already seen me roll a two. <laughs> Multiple times in the last God's couple rifle, um, LRM, as well as the SRM4 Artemis. Okay, so Let's just roll see. three twos and we'll be good. God's rifle. Okay, hits. Five damage. Five wow. damage. Let's see where that hits. Kevin, prepare your pen. Prepare your pen for battle. In uh, the middle. Right in the torso, which is, I think, okay. That You're, strips the armor? Yeah, 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 just yep. stripped it. Okay. All right. All room 10. Um, same modifier. Yeah. Three. This is uh, it's Artemis. All right. So roll that M. You get to re-roll if. M. Okay, so, so you got one. Two pips. Two pips. So First pip hits the Marauder in the six. It's a torso. Mm. That's, that's, a, that's, that's an a internal. Let's, Let's confirm that. Uh, confirm. Unconfirmed. It is non. It is negative. So critical. So lucky. <laughs> and the second, second hit. Second hit. Yeah. The Ooh. five. Love it. Right leg. I'll take it all day. Yeah. Now you got that SRM four though. Yeah. Um, higher modifier. It has a two penalty at medium. Okay. So I'm looking for a five. Okay. Got it. Got Easy five. peasy. Uh, now this is what a one plus M. A one plus M. But max four. Max three. Max three. Yeah. Got it. Okay. So I want that one two three. Got, got it. it. Okay. So two more pips coming down. Now, out of curiosity, this is not an Artemis four, right? The it that, is. That, oh, it is an Artemis four. Correct. Everything's Artemis on him. On the gargoyle. What a jerk. Yeah, I know. All right. All well, right. Location for the first pip. Two. It's a floating critical. So please hold. Uh, you Ouch. need to re-roll. Uh, location? Yeah, you gotta roll location first. Location for the floating crit is? A 10, that's left arm. Uh, so one pip to the left arm, and now you roll to see if you get a critical. So A plus. Looking to confirm. Some good weaponry in there. Nothing, thank God. Just can't thank God. confirm my crits. 
This is twice on that Marauder. I know, I know. This Marauder and is bulletproof. Yeah, I've got one more there. floating missile. It's in the air right now. It's no one a, knows where it's going to land. Where is it going to land? <laughs> where is it going to land? <laughs> location, location. I'm looking for six, sevens, and eights. A six. So that is, it is once again a structure and, a, and a a the torso. Confirm. All right. You know how bad I am at conferring criticals. Let's see it. You can hit the torso. I just can't crit it. Come on, dog. You can hit your fours. Gotcha. Oh, Critical. confirmed. All right, so roll that up. Now the nice. Marauder spent his edge. Oh, there is ammo in there. There's ammo in there. The Marauder spent his edge. A one will end its life. This is scary. I feel tension here. That's critical an engine hit. hit. Engine. Uh, it's still awful. Yeah, yeah. let's not. Let's no, not. No, let's critical not, was a good thing. Let's not but the undersell one it. Is the worst. Thing. Right. Yeah. I mean, one is one is instant death. I mean, I can live with an engine hit. Engine mm. heat's just one heat in this. What are those? Uh, I believe so. I gotta I actually gotta check. I was thinking the same thing. I think it's just an additional one heat every turn. Um, that you have to deal with, right? Like right. the heat build. Mm -hmm. uh, so, that gargoyle, vicious, vicious. And PS, love the model, looks awesome. We talked about that earlier. Really nice job on those gun barrels. Thank you. Um, looks even more foreboding, like staring down when the hill. Pointed right. down hill. Pointed down, at down hill at that Marauder. Uh, but that Marauder, I gotta tell you, soaked a lot of fire. I think he also is uh, getting a gold star tonight. Uh, e for effort, as That's they say. Solid bullet sponge. <laughs> yes. Right. Uh, now, that, what was the initiative number on the gargoyle? It was a four. So four. Wow, he we're... will get an honorable Sipaku versus like a dishonorable <laughs> one. <laughs> Just they'll softly chop off a That side. golden katana is used to yeah, uh, take that off. Yeah, a it's extra will assist. Oh, that's perfect. So um, we're moving up the initiative order. So we're on number five. So Kevin, we have a five somewhere. I believe that is Wolverine. your Wolverine. Yeah. Star. My Stormcrow. Mm. Okay, so Wolverine's gonna go first. <clears throat> He's gonna uh, go after the uh, Mad Cat with his large laser. I love it. It's gonna be an nine because we're running. Yep. God, right. oh, again. Okay, I love it. The medium lance holding up. If the medium lance <laughs> is doing the job, guys. Don't ever say that bigger the bigger is better here. I mean, Three damage. I'm, I might edge the location if it sucks. Ooh, left leg. Nine. It and does. That, you said, wait, you said it on film. You were going to edge it if the location sucked. Yeah, this is the best location. No, that's the worst. My favorite <laughs> spot in the mech. <laughs> Sorry, Kevin. How much damage is that? Three points. Three points. Oh, God. All right. So, is what it is. But that's still a solid, solid hit. Now, yeah. the Timberwolf has taken seven points of damage. He will need to make him piloting checks. So let's mark him yep. so we don't forget. So, well done, Kevin. Uh, what else? Sixes? Six. Oh, Stormcrow. Storm yeah. yeah, I was hoping you'd forget. Not, not so much. But uh, he's got to choose a target. We've been picking on that Molo this whole time. I know. Uh, I mean, <laughs> every turn those big guns it's a stay open. Gorgeous selection for you. Yeah. It's, just, it's, it's like a buffet. Aim, well, it's yeah. a smorgasbord. It's a dragon buffet. Uh, the Marauder's not really seen. It's like mostly covered, so yeah. I ignore that guy. Um, I think it's imperative to pick on the Marauder a little bit more. Okay. Get that threat gone before he. He, yeah, he still has the most weaponry that can hit you. And he's easy to drop. He's easy to drop, okay. yeah. So, modifier for the Stormcrow. He's got those pair of ER larges. Let's just say you hit on twos. Uh, <laughs> he's skill three. Uh, they're extreme. That's a seven. Okay. Yeah. Seven so, to start. It's a very blue. challenging number. Yeah, and I have no TMM from the heat. Boom. Ooh, I love it. I love it. The Mauler is is beasting. He's in beast mode he's right now. A lot of he just can't hit anything. Yeah. Uh, so speaking of hitting things, do we get to shoot back yet? Uh, we're on we're on number six, six. in the initiative. Do you have any sixes, six Matt? Sixes. Sevens. So my crab will go. Okay, crab is up. Lots of thinking here. Lots of eyeballing line of sight. I guess I'm just gonna press on the mad cat. I think so. Let's focus our fire. I think that's a great idea. All right. Two large lasers, which mm -hmm. is nice, but I'm still dealing with an eight. No good. Uh, I believe you're up. That was it for the okay. crab. So who, who do we got you on my side? The Marauder. So a little sweet revenge, maybe? Yeah. Now the question is, so the gargoyle I missed last round. Yeah, he's untouched. He's untouched. I think I am going to balls out alpha strike the adder. Yikes. Okay. Yeah, it's... Sky's the limit, whatever you want to shoot. I mean, I can I hit the Timberwolf? You think I have a line of sight to the Timberwolf? I think the Adder is maybe a bigger threat, and the fact I do. that you have medium range, you might as well just... I'm just going to nuke him, and you know... target. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be up to, like, tons of heat anyway. So, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> whatever. YOLO. I mean, he's almost dead, right? The Marauder? I mean, he's basically cooked. Yeah, one more torso shot. And he's done. Uh, so, what do I need? Let's start there. 
got plus three, twos from five, range. six, sevens. Okay. You got right. two PPCs, an AC5, and a mediums. Here we go. Which one's first? PPCs. All right. Woo! Double. Love it, Matt. Matt doesn't love it. Hurry, I love it. No, I just not love it. Hurry up, that's a lot inches. of damage. <laughs> oh. Yes. How much damage is that? Seven. Oh. Just be glad they're clan, not clan PPCs. Right, yeah, otherwise it'd be 40 damage. Can we edge the six? We can edge the six. Okay. Rude. A four. Ooh. But that is just as good because that is going to rip off an arm and destroy the PPC group. Six, seven. So that Ouch. so one of those PPCs is offline. AC five it. AC five it. Misses. One and the two mediums. Two mediums. Hits. Nice. Four points coming in hot. Ooh. At the ten, which is the other other one. arm. Okay, oh so my gosh. other arm is stripped, but but not internal. So the Marauder now spiking up, heat levels off the charts, going up to three points of heat, Kevin. I need to avoid a shutdown here. Uh, now, I, I, I can opt to automatically shut down if I so desire. Okay. Because at the, oh, actually the engine, the engine will build up heat. Because of the engine damage. Right, that resolves. At this round. This round. Uh, so, and I would be able to. Is that three including the engine, or is that from no. shooting? No. Yeah, that's just from shooting, because the Marauder has an incredibly awful heat profile. Um, you can't even fire your yeah, main weapon. You should only build two. Yeah, I'm already at one. Oh, wow. Yeah, so I'm at, I'd be at three. The engine put me at four. Four, uh, is an there. four is an ammo explosion, right? Heat level critical. Yeah. So I might have to opt to shut down. We'll see. Okay. All right, you know what? All right. Or we could just YOLO it. We'll see. Uh, so anyway, Marauder went. Let's let's well, keep no, rolling. Because technically, when you you roll for heat at the in the end phase, right? In the heat phase, yeah. You call it, which is when the engine doesn't that take effect in the, the same rounds heat phase? Yeah, I think so. All right. So anyway, so you're, already, you're already at an ammo check. Right. This turn. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That's what. But I can opt to shut down, and not take it. I think. Or do you I think am? you have to take it? Would we'll have to go to the book. But I think I'm gonna run with it anyway. Who's up next? Annihilator. Mauler? Right, because you have to roll for the effects like successively, right? So you can just choose to shut down first. I think you're right. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think so. So, right. so what number are we on? I believe well, it's well. Eight. Do you have any sevens? No sevens. I have an, I have a couple of eights. Do you have any eights? I have an eight. Skill two. Yeah. So you uh, you go after me then. Yep. So great news, guys. My annihilator's finally in range yep. of something. Da the question da is, da do I want to cook the adder? You think I want to cook the <laughs> adder for sure? Okay. We're doing it. Two, four, eights. I need eights. Uh, otherwise, actually, it's gonna, otherwise, it's gonna yeah. cook you. <laughs> yeah, eights. So I can fire, I believe, all four PPCs and build up no heat, right, Kevin? Um, I have all how those heat yeah. sinks? Yes. Okay. You could cook the mediums in pairs. What's that? Two doubles. Yeah. yeah. Okay, here we go. Intense. Mm. Commander coming through, guys. There it is. One hit. Location. Left leg. Oh man, how much damage? Seven. He's got edge. <laughs> One pip the of structure left. Should I just use it and reroll that location, Kevin? Nah, let's see where the rest hit. <laughs> okay. Right. You, you, know, um, you could get a leg. It's again. a structure in the leg. Oh, it's structure in the leg. Yeah. Okay. Well, I was I was rolling to hit here. Okay. Do you want to count that as my? <laughs> I don't want to cheat. Uh, what, how, how do you want to count that as my other that, two? The, ver the very next roll would have been to confirm critical. You did not confirm the critical. Okay, so we'll move on to the hit. I, I'll let you pick generous because man. he's a generous man. Or maybe he it just only does, makes sense. Or he just doesn't want his leg blown off. Could happen. Still one pick left. All right, here we go. To hit on the second group. Got it. Location. Location. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> critical in the other leg. Oh my goodness. One pip of structure left. Okay. Confirm. Did I hit the right leg the first time? Yeah. Okay. God. Oh, yes. See, I don't care. That, that annihilator's got plenty. Well, I mean, he's going to have juice. to make... Uh, he took... Oh, yeah. Two, he's got a plus two. A plus three. He took four oh, yeah. from the Marauder, from too. The last round. Yeah. Or whatever. Yeah. Uh, so he's already at a ridiculous piloting <laughs> check, which is which is fantastic. I can't believe I just hit legs the whole time though. But it makes sense as he's up on the hill. All right, so we're at eight. Mauler. The Mauler. 
Can he firing every anything? firing everything at the at the timber wolf? Yeah. What was his heat already at? Though? Two. So yeah. you're gonna go up to three. He's gonna cook. You know, me going up to three. Yeah. It's that old boy going scary. up to three. All, All right. right. So skill three. You're at a four five. We're at extreme range. Right. Yes. Yep. I need nines. Yep, nines. This is like the the bane of my existence. Okay. Well, here we go, guys. Uh, I'm going to start with the large laser. Okay. ACs. This poor Mauler <laughs> has not hit a thing. Uh, <laughs> nines for LRMs. Come on. Oh, now, wait a minute. Nine. The LRMs need seven or nines. They need nines, don't they? They're at a plus four. Yeah. Everything's at a plus four. It's on. It's unreal. That's just so much damage. I just, I just can't, I can't hit with it. It's terrible, terrifying. All right, so moving forward to uh, you. Do, you have an eight. You have an eight. I, I do. Yeah. The Timberwolf. Timberwolf. Yep. I can't believe I couldn't hit him. Oh. All right. right. So what are you doing? Yeah, he's got to find a new mark. Um, we do some of barrels pointed up at him. Um, let's take a shot at the Nihilator. catapult. Nihilator this looks good. He looks great. <laughs> yeah, but he has a lot of armor. Is that right? Big old weapon, so. I know it's true. You do. Um, uh, well, you know, you decide. I, don't, I was just joking. I don't want to. I don't want to sway you. Well, I haven't. I don't shot at uh, Kevin much. No. So I figured Ever. it was time to <laughs> take out one of his mechs. Okay. That's selfish. Uh, that's, that's very. That's very yeah. generous. You're of getting you. a little bold. You know, they think that they. Uh, you can just stand still <laughs> and I'll shoot just confirm you. Confirm the distance we have between its uh, long range. It's more of an annoyance. Yeah, it was. It was a, it you're was a long just range. Turning to these mediums, just kind of like really. <laughs> All right, at long we have uh, the LM twenties and those ER large lasers. All right. Accumulate no heat with it. Got it. So TMM, he's a Guttery two pilot. Um, he's at a plus two for long range. That's a four. No TMM. Okay. Let's start with those LM twenties. Okay. Looking for the four. Got it. Got it. But it's an MM, so I have right. two dice for each of those missiles. Racing for impact. Got Ooh. both. God, so it's an eight, three, and a two group. The eight hits the catapult. In CT. The Take eight to the CT. And now the three group. How does that uh, look for us, Kevin? He's got so one pip on that right. so. He's got that medallion. Three group hits him in the nine. In the left leg. Takes three. Okay. And we have a two. You got a two banger. <clears throat> Come on, so dice. Torso. Ah, it's going. For it's going in, going inside. I've never made a critical confirmation. It seems a sense of one. It's got ammo in Let's there. Do it. Machine gun ammo. No. Nope. Oh man, that's that's it's good. Freebie. Why is the K two of machine guns? Uh, that's only the LRMs. Yeah, right. You saw forty two other weapons. Correct. So, weapon <laughs> uh, forty one is a pair of linked <laughs> ER large lasers. B. Yeah, right. Column six. All right. Same thing. Looking for force. Oh man. Got him. All right. So location. Seven damage to the catapult. Oh, Absolutely gutted. That is. Ouch. Oh this man. Is nuked. Wow. You don't tangle with a mad cat. I don't know what to say. Uh, I will say that the uh, the yeah the timber wolf is worth its BB in this match. LRMs oh, yeah. are LRMs are nasty. Now, the catapult the catapult went from a new paint job. <laughs> Just. And I will tell you, like, wreck. you know, when I think about when I play these things in classic, mm -hmm. they just never hit the same location. It's like get a laser in the left torso, you get a laser <laughs> right. in the right leg, oh, you get, yeah. you know, like six missiles in like your right arm, you get another, you know, eight missiles like across your body and you're just like, cool story. <laughs> you know, like here, it's just like you just bores holes through things, right? Torso, torso, torso. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I like it. And chopping things off. Reminds me of like, you know. Playing uh, yeah, any mech warrior game, right? I mean, your oh, la yeah. your lasers aren't like cross eyed going in different directions, it's, it's, right? This, this is somewhat more cinematic, but yeah. it still has the feel and the mechanic of classic. It is very cinematic, yeah. uh, but I'm I'm like the bad guy in the movie here, apparently, because we can't hit anything. We're like the right. stormtroopers. Storm <laughs> that, that's not right. These are smoke jaguar. They're definitely the bad guys. Well, yeah, it's true. It's true. This movie's not over. It's because the Davians haven't come yet. You're right. Uh, yeah. Okay, or or who, like Grey Death Legion or somebody. Don't worry, we'll save you. Uh, so <laughs> it's, uh, who's up next? Nine? So that was an eight, so it's nine. Shadowhawk? Shadowhawk. Okay. I can fire both, so I guess we're going to go back at that mad cat that just killed my buddy. Just yeah. felt the heat next door. 
Uh, we'll start with the ABC. <laughs> Shards, <laughs> Shards of catapult, just <laughs> like ricocheting off the cockpit. Oh my god. Just spray. That'd be terrifying. It would be terrifying. Just One onslaught, gone. Just, just gone. Evaporated right. the catapult. Just, just annihilated, yeah. Yeah, so we'll start with the PPC, and that's going to be an eight with the standstill. Yeah, eight yep. with the standstill. I only know the math so well because it's always been nine, so. <laughs> it's true, I know. Not mm. the LRMs. This will be at a six. Okay, I like which that. Is amazing. It's a it's a hittable number. Got it. No, I swear to God, that flipped over. He's got an edge. Don't do it. Not for an LRM five. I know. Should have edged that PPC. That's it. That's my nah. That's everybody. From All right. You got the awesome. Now, have you shot everybody on your side? Nope. I've got an adder out of ten. Okay. So leave the best for last. Yeah, that sounds good. And then I have what the awesome and the. That's it. Awesome. Jawsome. Yeah. Cool. Adder goes first? Yeah. Last, yeah. Ad, no, Adder's, okay. Adder's up. And he lost that PPC earlier in this round, or was it last turn? Uh, it was this turn. This turn. Okay, yeah. so this could be my last chance to use both PPCs. It could be worth a little bit of heat. Could be worth four points of heat. Yeah. You will have to that's, test that's for that's shutdown. The, that's the glory of initiative. Test for shutdown? Yeah. No, he only accumulates, um, he sinks four, it builds six, he'll hold two. But he's already a three. No, that's his piloting skill penalty. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, He has oh. no accumulated heat. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, then. Yep. Out okay. in a blaze of glory. Well, let's choose yeah, our victim. man. Okay. Oh, hey, there's this Marauder out here. He's got three points of edge. Oh, he'll need him. <laughs> Ooh. He, Adder has his target you're, computer. You're going to force rerolls like on his It's on medium <laughs> range. My, uh, he's you know. He's skill two. I'm going so to challenge the Timberwolf with Zellbrigan. He can't shoot me. <laughs> um... No, really. I think skill two, target computer, medium range. It's a free hit. No TMM? Yeah, he's got cover, but it's a free hit. Yeah. So I'm really going locations from the router. Because you're at minus one at medium range, right? right. With the targeting computer? Yeah, it's, it's an auto. Two. It's an auto hit. So just roll for location. Center five position. damage to the router's six. He's, he takes so five. He? He's still alive, right? Um, How much damage? Five. five. Yeah. He's, he's got, got one pip. One pip? One pip? Well, let's confirm that crit. Marauder's hanging on. Not confirmed. Not confirmed. Of course it's not confirmed. He still has an engine hit though. But well, location for second five. And love it, left on. Left on blown off. So I'm just a walking auto cannon at this point. Right, or is there, is there a structure left, Kev? No, that's destroyed the yeah. left arm. So uh, I'm just ah, a walking auto cannon. Right. Okay, uh, awesome is up. So <laughs> he's got a PPC. I'm gonna shoot my small laser anyway at you. Um, what a gimped awesome. I know, the poor thing. I mean, ooh, it's, it's just, it's not even awesome anymore. I feel bad saying I haven't bothered shooting back at him after that. Uh, right, well, I mean, you just cord him out. Like, he's just like so much torso damage. Uh, what, am I, what do I need? Kev, <clears throat> medium range? I mean, long range? It's gonna be long. Oh, the adder. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. It's long, it's long. Yeah, it's long. Okay. 90% sure. No. So if it's long, it's going to be a 2, 4, 8 because I'm stationary. All right. So here we go. Come on. And, and it connects. Now that means his modifier is going to go up to a 4 on the piloting. Four more points of damage. To the 10. That is the left arm. Oh, both arms are destroyed. How right. much? I mean, I'm four finish. four pips. Oh, okay. Yep. So both, both arms, arms destroyed, off. torso fifty percent down, but that uh, basically that puts neutered. Force withdrawal. Never mind. He has his flamer in his head. Uh, but can he do? What's the flamer do for damage? One. Is that is that enough? Yeah, that's enough. Yeah. No, he's not in force withdrawal from lack of weapons. I'll just some right? headbutt the awesome soon. Yeah. Burn. That's craziness. Yeah. That's craziness. Yeah, um, you're gonna run in armless with your flamer. <laughs> <laughs> uh you know yeah right breathing fire um but yeah i mean that's that so let's let's uh check his this, piloting though this right adder is in terrible shape he's taking so much damage around this is incredible he could we have a four point down point penalty to his piling check to so not an, pull down he needs an eight yeah yowch if i would have confirmed one of those darn leg criticals uh would have right. been higher but you know eight's big number you know how hard hard it is for you to confirm <laughs> getting those Boom, eight. Clam pilots are no joke. They're no joke. He's definitely bred for this. He doesn't care. No he just turned his, his blown just... off arm into a crutch and he's now using it to... <laughs> oh man, all right, well... Well, um, I mean, it's nuts, Mad dude. Cat took a lot of damage this round too. 
Oh, he did. He that's at right. At least a one point penalty, I believe, to his pilot check. Uh, yeah, I don't think we hit him for uh, for oh, 14 points. So yet, it was a right? single group yeah, under 14. It was a single group. So he just needs to make a five. Okay. Uh, yeah, five, right? Five or better. Correct. All right. Five. Uh, Almost. Borderline. Almost. But you know what? He's got the edge anyway, so I wasn't really too concerned about it. I was hoping, though, on the adder, without the edge, he would fall and bust his, <laughs> you know, his torso up some I'm more. I'm terrified. And fall on happen. his head and fall unconscious. Can you uh, edge his... His piloting check, yeah. you can't. Uh, and right. yeah, no. There's no target for it. Right, um, exactly. So the other uh, mech on the board that's been suffering pretty bad is that Marauder. He's pretty wrecked. Oh yeah, he's got to make a roll too. Yeah. Engine hits, all sorts of things. I'm not even sure what I need here, but he would be hmm. at a seven plus two. I think. a six. Okay. Yeah, he didn't take twenty-one points. Yeah, you're right. Oh, either way, I got a 10. Oh, he's fine. Uh, it was a 6 or a 7. I, you know, this feels like an eternity ago. Um, so. Not that it matters because. He's got to make a shutdown test. Explode. Yeah, I'm going to. Or do I ride it out, guys? <laughs> I'm doing it. Let's, you know what? This is battle tech. YOLO. No guts. This is 8 plus. No, no galaxy. Level. First, the shutdown test. Shutdown sequence overridden. Now, the ammo test. Wow. What? Nice. He's, he's alive. The eight till now. He's alive and he's, dude, he's a champ right now. Yeah, it's amazing. He's only got an auto cannon oh, you know now. You're going for the automatic shutdown. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, he's just basically. Uh, Those are pro rolls right there. He's just a mess. Yeah. Uh, but he's still alive. Uh, because if I shut down, I realized it was the minus four mobile penalty. Easy. You wasted That's, all those eights. Of those I would need, need it for shooting. <laughs> Listen, I don't control the dice, Kevin. Uh, if all you right? shut down, I need a these, negative these, number. These aren't the Kickstarter Draconis dice. Otherwise, I'd be rolling <laughs> nothing but sixes. Uh, so, <laughs> I guess all I can say is WTC, which stands for What the Clans. Yes. Um and what's the that? Has to check for shutdown as well. Does he? Oh, well, he yeah went all out with his heat. Oh, he shuts down. I might just eject. <laughs> Is that a thing? Can I do that? Uh, so the Mauler shuts down. Good point. Uh, and what are we going on? Turn seven now. Turn seven, correct. All right, guys. Well, stay tuned. Uh, the madness will continue in just a moment. The Temple Mountain. Still under siege. Uh, Kevin and I have decided that by now, whatever POWs were in this area have definitely been evacuated. Uh, this is this is madness. So this is I've lost track. I think it's turn seven. Whatever the yeah, it's turn whatever seven. Whatever your screen says in front of you, that's what turn it is. Um, so you know, it was a it was a mediocre initiative run across the board. Um, you know, we all kind of had to move and do our thing, all intermixed. The uh, couple of things. The smaller shutdown. I think you guys saw that on camera. My Marauder, I forgot to make a morale check on him. So after all of those amazing feats of feats glory, of, right, feats of glory avoiding glory. shutdown, avoiding ammo detonation, all of these things, he also made his morale check. He rolled an 11. Uh, so he is in the fight. He is ready to go. That would have been sad. It's like he made all that success and then like... And then just... I, 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 I had enough. Here's like, I got too done. much. <laughs> I got to get home for dinner, guys. Uh, so the the awesome chillin' there, still stationary, the Annihilator plodding forward uh, at an abysmally slow speed. And uh, again, my molar shut down. Kev? Finally decided to move in. We've got all three of my mediums within medium range. But the Catapult, their, their bold leader, took a hefty hit and just went careening into the woods on fire. Sad times. And Crab is over there doing what Crab does, helping out. I feel like the Crab sells a lot in the tank. Not yeah, to be underestimated. The rest have, you know, clean paint. Yeah, <clears throat> so we'll see what happens. So, yeah. Matt, how about how about on your side? Yeah, the Adder is down to just his head flavor. One structure in each leg and no arms. Oh my god. So he's pedaling back to go cover the POW's retreat. Yes. Um, Gargoyle is pretty fresh, and he says, see some fresh meat in front of him. Crab meat, He wants, perhaps? um, yeah, crab meat. One last salvo before he leaves the POWs. Yeah. That being said, um, Spoke Jaguars are proud and arrogant. The Storm Crow and Mad Cat have come to the edge of the mountain for one last salvo downhill into the, uh, free bo freeborn troops. Oh, all right. Well, you know, you test two weirdos can do what you want, but you're going to feel the sting of the dragon. The bite of the dragon? I don't know what they say. Snap of the dragon. I play Free Worlds League. <laughs> uh, <so laughs> All right, so 
We're gonna start at the bottom and work our way up. Uh, who got the three? Got five. Adder has the three. Adder has the three. Yeah. Can't do anything. Can't do anything. He's gonna just shoot his flamer, like you know, like when you purge oh, Nas on your car. Like for fun. I'll yeah, absolutely. Uh, so five. Water. Then you have a three. I did. Did I? Did you have a three? Yeah. Oh. That's what you put on the sheet. I think it's a five. That's a five, which okay. is awful handwriting. Yeah. Uh, so, so we'll crab, crab, yeah, thing? crab, marauder, and uh, I think the I'm annihilator. I'm gonna go for the yeah. easier shot, and just we're gonna pile on the mad cat. So, ooh, good choice. A little torso twist with the crab. So we are going to push the heat a little bit too. Why not? Why not? Crab's gonna fire two large and a medium. We'll start with the large. It's a six point group. Uh, three, five, seven is what I'm counting. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, that's too large. Love it's it. Be five, six damage to the. Right, right in the chest. Oh, that's half his chest armor. It's a good double. Don't, listen, don't brag about it, okay? <laughs> Ow. I'm trying to be supportive of my opponents. <laughs> yeah. Here You're comes that like, medium. Such a good guy. Also at a seven. Come on, man. All nice. right. It's going to be two damage. Burn another two in there. Got yeah. it. I love that. I love right. that, Cap. So the next Brad guy is the uh, is the Marauder, okay? Now the question is, is the Marauder in front of, he is. So what I'm looking at is the line on the back of the base of the Marauder, is that Timberwolf in front of it? It is, I'm gonna pile on the Timberwolf. I'm a walking autocannon. Uh, I have... That's a good t-shirt slogan. <laughs> I'm a walking autocannon. <laughs> so it's like a Davian three... t-shirt. <laughs> Or all those Davian t-shirts, they're dangerous. Uh, so I, I'm a three, four with the heat penalty for to shooting. I'm stationary, so back to a three. Mm -hmm. You're a five, we're at medium range. Six, seven. Yep. It's doable, guys. It's doable. All right, Marauder. <laughs> I'm not ever not rolling today. in that thing again. Uh, okay, so moving on to the Annihilator. Kevin, I'm thinking about Tim. Uh, it was your awesome, right? Oh, the awesome. You're right. You're right. I'm so yeah. excited. Don't worry. He's coming. Yeah. Look at his chat. Look at his day in the sun. All right. So I think the the awesome is going to fire at the, the gargoyle. Single PPC? Yeah, single PPC okay. up at the gargoyle. Maybe you can hit that uh, center torso up there. I don't think I can see the Timberwolf, Kev. Sure you can. Oh, yeah. Clear. Sight. Okay. No blockage. Oh, okay. Oh. So, um, you know, I'm on the other side oh, of the table. Dang. You know? No, I want to go for the Timberwolf. No, I want to do it. All right, so <laughs> two, four. Uh, You're the CF. Am I long or extreme? That oh, that's right. gonna be that's gonna be important. Long. Kevin's You're calling long. it. Well, thank I you. I have a laser eye. <laughs> uh, you have a laser eye. Uh, so uh, what's the plus two? Oh no, plus four. Plus right. Four, so I would need an eight. But he is a you know, he's a skill three. I'm gonna do it, guys. Here we go. Does he have Kevin's any? Edge. I'm doing it. Edge in it. Come on. It's it's all or nothing. Oh, One of the edges finally. Oh my gosh. All right, rolling for location. What it's, if I edge your hit roll? You can't. You can't. You're out of edge. Your Timberwolf used it, didn't oh, it? Oh shoot. Did he? Did he? I don't know. Did he? I think so. No? Okay. Oh, he's, he's debated it many times. Yeah, sure. I lose track. If you, if you didn't mark it, uh, we'll let it fly. Okay. Uh, I'm if, scared. My torso is all strips. All right. Well, this is what I had. This is what we had the last game, the the, the five eight conundrum. <laughs> oh yeah, that never worked out. We, we were like, which one green? should we reroll? Uh, well, no, the probability is identical. Uh, and then if you reroll them all, it's like a forty five percent chance hitting the torso again. We had this whole yeah. this whole thing. It was a thing. Yeah. It was a battleitics. Oh god. <laughs> battleitics came out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they did. Uh, so it's the all. You're doing it all. Yeah. Go huge or go home. He's dancing spending, on the hill. Spending his edge. Yep. Like a star colonel should. Hey! It's not enough. It's not enough. It's left leg. All right, left leg. Takes four. Right. But I feel kind of good about that because it got you to spend your edge before yeah. the annihilator just annihilates. You keep Hopefully. on bringing this up. We're moving up the chain. Set five sixes. Do we have any sixes? sixes. Wolverine. Uh, Gargoyle and Stormcrow. So your guys will Gargoyles go after, two. right? Because they're yeah. He, Wolverine's he, up. This is he's in his he's finally in his glory. Medium range. Oh. <laughs> this is where the Wolverine shines. God, it took so long for us. I mean, we took yeah. the long way around here. So, but it's because you can't. Yeah. You can't. He's also, he's also gonna run a little hot. I okay. Think, yeah, for yeah, Miami, yeah. I think um, the crab did. Yeah, yep. Crab took a point of heat, and now the uh, the Wolverine building up a point of heat. Whatever. 
Just one. Yep. Uh, so we will start with, I think, the large laser. Go, the, go with the big bag. Okay. <clears throat> um, three, seven. Got there it. it is. Three damage. Come on, make it count. Hit the head. Ooh, torso. Torso, torso. for three? Yeah, there was a six there. So I was, has one left. I was so excited. I'm now that's external, right? I mean, dude, the Timberwolves have so much armor. Yeah, Alpha he's... Strike, classic, Seriously. it doesn't matter. They're just Two like, mediums. Ridiculous. Amounts. Here comes the big one. Hits. Whoa. Four damage. <laughs> the head! Oh! No way! <laughs> there it is! The head? Oh, oh my man. God. The oh, what are the odds? What are the odds? The edge was spent. Toast, oh, right? He's he was, roasted, dude. He was dude. fresh up until a moment ago. Does anyone have more than four? I guess that's the cap, No, right? that's the cap in this. Oh. Yeah, so dude, that's it. Dude. Cored out, beams through the cockpit. Headshots are supposed to be devastating. Now bye, the question bye, is, Star Colonel. Look at that great paint job, though. Thank you. Do I have to declare all my shots in advance? Yeah, so you spend every. So you build up the heat regardless. Excellent Wolverine SRM. work. Yeah, dude, that's yeah. You made you made some great Wolverine work the other night Wolverines too. Wolverines are just fantastic. Fantastic, man. Yeah, medium range too. When you get there, you're like, ah, oh. oh, yeah. The pilot, he's been <laughs> like hold his finger on the trigger the whole well, game, he's never just shot. waiting. Otherwise, he would have never made it there. But, yeah. Uh, well, well, I mean, see. this this is the eight. This is finally the eight v five advantage is coming into play here. Yep. Uh, just weight of arms. I mean, of course, it's just like dead mechs all over the field, but. <laughs> all right. Whatever. All right. Has so has not been an objective match. It's a it's a moral victory for us. Um, what uh, else do we have Wolverine here? Wolverine would be done. So, uh, I have the Shadowhawk at seven. You have the Annihilator at seven. Okay. Uh, uh, I can go first. Unless two guys can. here at sixes, being All both right. the Gargoyle and Stormcrow. Oh, you're right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. But the Wolverine has earned the ire of Clan Smoke Jaguar. I, As I mean, the Star Colonel falls, they shall not suffer such dishonor. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, let's resolve the gargoyle. Let's see you got a shootout over here. He's looking downhill, right into the eyes of a beautiful, beautiful marauder. Oh, goodness. Oh, yeah. And a cocky look on his face, too. I survived everything. He thinks he's yeah. such a good pilot. He thinks he's so great. He's just a free birth. Meanwhile, you can see the engine. Right, right it's just like... <laughs> and funny thing with the gargoyle, he has all these heat sinks and generates no heat. Yeah, it's bizarre, it's right? crazy. Anywho, yeah. anyway, he's got a big, mean gauze rifle. Uh, skill two. Okay. Uh, medium range, no penalty, yeah. no TMM. Yeah. Does that mean I'm assigning damage again? <laughs> yeah. Ouch. Okay. Well, way. I could roll for my SRM four when I get there. Yeah. It'll you roll for answers. Let's start. It'll be a four if we get there. Yeah. yeah. All right. God's so rifle. Location. Marauder. <laughs> that is uh, left arm. Which goes internal and boom. Mm, Marauder. I barely knew you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hey. I'm proud of this guy. And you know what, you hit him in the arm, so that gives him time to eject his pod, which of course sure. is, is sealed, lands in the in the river and sinks to the bottom where the clan <laughs> smoke jaguar will never find him. And he'll stay there safe for three hours, then crawl out. An epic story. Yeah, that's yeah. his story, guys. Yeah. You wrote a whole backstory for that. So one. this pilot needs to grow with that experience and come back smarter and stronger and tougher with this next mech. And also have a cyborg body. Definitely a robotic and, guy. Right, definitely a robotic guy, yeah. which gives him plus one gunnery. No, no I, don't think they're, I don't think they're gonna let him pilot a mech again. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so. Uh, Stormcrow. Stormcrow's up, yeah. yeah. So he's got medium on both the Shadow, Hawk, and the Wolverine. I can, think the can Wolverine, you tell them apart though? No, they're all just inner sphere mechs. They all look alike. <laughs> I think the Wolverine's the one that earned the yeah, it's the wrath. Yeah, the wrath. it's a big tough mech. He just shot his star kernels. Time to lay down some laser yeah, fire. Yeah, this is the first time I get to use my ER mediums. Uh, medium yeah. lasers. Yeah, and they come in a trio. Ooh, it's no joke. Yeah. Hey, That's... fun fun footnote about ER mediums, Matt. Yeah. So in the Destiny rulebook, uh, there oh, it's yes. actually a misprint. We noticed this. So Catalyst, if you're watching. Uh, ER mediums have the same range profile as a large laser in Classic, but mismatching yeah. uh, range profiles in Destiny. It should be uh, 0024, yep. I mean, uh, which is what the large like... laser is, but it's just 002 dash. Like they can't shoot at long range in, as written in the book, which is wrong. Yeah. So that's a misprint, but of course here we're playing it as it should be. Uh, you know, 0024. Data, raw. Da yeah, yep. you know. So uh, fun footnote for everybody, but... As Matt and I were making the cards, uh, was that yesterday afternoon or yeah. maybe it was this morning? I don't remember. All a blur. All a blur. Uh, we found, we happened to stum stumble on that. So, uh, anyway, 
I'm delaying the inevitable. <laughs> Bunch of lasers coming out. All right, two groups of lasers. First one's a pair of ER larges <clears throat> at medium, no penalty. Skill three, TMM two is a five on mm -hmm. that Wolverine. I have a question. Do you have clear line of sight or is the hill obfuscating any part of that Wolverine that, that would grant like a plus one? What do you think? It looks like it. Yeah, probably plus one. Yeah. Kevin can it's validate a, it is that. A, it is a, you're on like the backside of a very steep slope there. I would give him plus one cover, but he can hit him. Yeah, okay. All right, so sixes. Sixes. I mean, I'm, I'm, any, sixes. anything I can take here to get <laughs> yeah. you out of the four or five range. Oh, God. I so tried. seven damage I in the Wolverine. Yeah. I tried. Let's <laughs> find location on that, on that bad so boy. Wrath. Four. Four. Ooh, that's a that's a right arm, I believe. That's gonna go internal. What was the damage? Seven. No, yeah, it's just destroyed. No. Right? Yeah, it's six yeah, armor, sorry. one structure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So let's yeah, confirm yeah. the critical. It's Looking eight. for that it's like potential eight. eight. No, 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 no structure. No. Yeah. However, mediums, three of them. Yeah. I need an eight because they have a plus two at medium. Got it. So Harder hit, they land mm. seven more damage on the Wolverine. Oh gosh, don't even want to look. Four. Now, now the arm's gone. Kevin, Kevin's like precognizant, like he can see things before they happen. Yep. Uh, so four, four transfers to the, yeah, to the torso. Uh, torso is still yellow, not in bad shape, but you oh, do tough. lose, what well, do you lose the right arm, right? Right, so right? So that large lose, laser. Lose my head laser. <laughs> Oh yeah, your medium laser group. Oh wow, that everything's in that right arm. Yep, I forgot that's, that that's the money arm. You gotta yeah. torso twist and block with your left. That is uh that is some um, it's a impressive skill. Impressive uh, clan gunnery. Yeah. Just targeting, homing in on the uh, the weapon just group disarm there. Disarm these rebirths. Just disarm them, yeah. Uh, okay, so moving along. So we're moving up to uh, initiative seven, right? Is that where we're at now? You we got are. all you got all your sixes. So who's yeah. got sevens? Shadow Shadowhawk. Hawk. And the annihilator. So you wanna you wanna do the shadow hawk? Sure. Okay. Alright. Gonna try to save my brother. I guess. Going for the shot going for the storm crow? Storm crow. Yeah. yeah. Maybe we'll get a head hit. Let's double team him. I still got the annihilator. Uh, we'll, go, we'll start with the PPC. Yeah. That is gonna be a five, six, it's gonna be a seven. Okay. Alright. Ooh, Kevin. Okay. You're you're turning it on these last uh, last few turns here. Yeah. I've been hitting, I've been hitting. I mean, it's that medium time. range thing with these mechs. Yeah. It's four damage to the torso. Oh, that's four a great to torso. Half strips. Oh, All right, fives. This is going to be a five to hit. Yeah, this is. Yeah, this is. I know. that The. You got it. Wow, nice. It's when you go down that range bracket, it's such a For huge differential. No good. So one damage. All right, one pip coming in at the. Ah, torso. 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 Ouch, down to three. All right. It's good. If I hit with a PPC group, it's gonna be it's gonna be good. It's gonna we'll be see. juicy. I could take him out with one. Oh no! I still need two PPC groups. Okay. All right, all right. So, annihilators up, turning, firing at the storm crow, trying to blast through that exposed side torso as he sights down that Wolverine's arm. Um, I'm gonna need two, four, eights, right? Because we're at long range. I will never, the Annihilator will never know anything closer than long range. <laughs> uh, here we go. Now the Annihilator still has his edge, right Kev? I believe he does. Yeah. Unspent. So does the Awesome. No, we, the Awesome used it, right? The Awesome, awesome used it this turn, but the Annihilator did not. All right, here we go. Ooh, I love it. That's juicy. This is one of two PPC groups? Yes, yeah. yes. So Blue seven points. Pounds. You can roll location with that. I'm saving my edge. Here we go, guys. Yeah. Location. To the five. It's a right leg. Three damage? Uh seven, my friend. Still one pip of armor. Do I wanna do I wanna edge that location? You have a second PPC group. Save it for that. Okay. Alright. Okay, well, Kev. What if it misses, you know? Oh, like that. Alright, I wanna edge that. Good call, Kev. Yikes. I mean, this is do or die. This is basically, yeah. this is the end here. Oh, oh saved. Oh, man. Those are devastating. Well, you will have to make a piloting check. It's like, him. it's like, you know, for whatever that's worth. Uh, and he might fall on the next up is what? Torso. Do you, do you, who do you have left? Nobody. I have left. the um, Timberwolf at an eight. Oh, at an eight. Yeah. Okay. Well, my mauler is good nine. He's sleeping. Okay. He's going to, he's just taking a quick nap, so. Um, well, the Timberwolf is staring downhill at that juicy Wolverine. 
as as, as they're la- changing fire, right? As lasers bore right, into right his before cockpit, that right. laser went <laughs> right into the middle, right between the glass pane. Love it. Okay. Um. So you get uh. Yeah. Some modifiers here. Um. Skill two. Yeah. Was a star colonel. Yeah. I mean, he is really good. He's uh, really good at life. He was winning. <laughs> medium range. Okay. No penalty. Uh. Two TMM. So force. Four. Yeah. Uh, LRM twenty. Let's go for force. Oh yeah, got it. So eight plus two M's. Two M's. Let's see what we have. Okay, so just no eight. M's. Just eight. No M's. Just no eight. M's. Eight damage to the Wolverine in his ten. Oh, that's a left arm. And just going for the arms, stripping the arms. So is it a critical chance? There's nothing in there though, right? Yeah. Yeah. So don't even bother. Um, I didn't say which weapons I was firing. I'm doing large and medium since we're in medium. Range. Yeah, I figured you were just. Yeah. I mean, you're dead. I figured you were shooting everything. On everything. Yeah. yeah. Okay, larges. Also need that four. Yeah. Got it. Ooh. Seven damage to the Wolverine. So close. It is six. That's a torso. That's internal. It Roll is. to confirm. The Colonel. Man, looking to confirm. Seven. Colonel can't confirm yeah. seven. Yep. That's two pips in. Never, Never ever confirm. Colonel, Star Colonel cannot right confirm. Side. Medium uh, lasers, oh, though. Lancing blows, you know? I need a six now to hit. Let's go sixes. Got it. Five more damage coming down, and I know I want that juicy torso. Just short. It's a right leg. So what's that? Five damage or five damage? Five. Yeah, our mediums are so good. And then you get that pulse laser. Oh my gosh, medium pulse at a zero. I need a four to hit with it. That's yeah. incredible. How much damage was that total yeah. or the Wolverine? That was like all in one turn, right? Oh my god. It's already uh, been twenty from the Timberwolf. Yeah. yeah. More so than twenty, right? Eight plus seven plus I think five. He's like a plus four. That's twenty-three. Plus five. Yeah. Yeah. Hits. Hit. So, so three damage. So 26 damage. In the 10. Wow. Left arm. Three? Yep. Oh, that's another critical chance in the chest. Oh my oh. gosh. Dice, I love that you yeah, hit. You rip through I the left arm. I don't love that you can't confirm. That you confirm. You confirm. 1d6, my friend. 1d6. Critical hit. Gyro. 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 Gyro scope. Is damaged, uh, but not rendered what, inoperable. What a juicy one. But he's wait a minute. Force withdraw anyway. Well, he's in force withdraw, but his piloting modifier is going to be like he's, plus he's six. Falling too. Yeah, he fall on his chest. <laughs> he's going to gonna need a ten. He's going to need a ten to stay standing. Yeah. Uh, I Can think I we're, carefully I, take a knee. Yeah, just <laughs> ca- casually kneel down. Uh, I think we're done, right? Yeah. Let's see what happens to Wolverine for for cinematic effect. You have nothing. You have the Mauler. He's waking he's, up. He's yeah. He's blacked out. Or so yeah, I least. needed. I have like a plus six or something like that right now. Yeah, three from the gyro, and and you took twenty something points of damage. So plus the stormcrow hit him earlier for more. Oh well, wait a minute. Right. So you were. We we said he just stormcrow hit him with seven and seven fourteen. So you're actually at a plus five. Plus eight. You need a twelve to stay standing. <laughs> Holy crap! I can't believe this Wolverine's in one piece. This is what Wolverines do. So, <laughs> this thing took so Pilot. much damage. <sighs> How is it not dead? Pilot takes damage. Pilot takes a hit. Uh, so, roll to see if he blacks out. <laughs> he does not. He's not. He's still, dude, this, guy, guy. this guy's a bruiser. But there's going to be two damage, right? Mm-hmm. Matt, you want to roll up two pips? Two pips. We're looking for left, left nine, nine, nine. Torso, so torso. Eleven. 11. That's, that's torso. That goes into the torso. Critical chance. Let's try to confirm. A seven. No Not good. Confirmed. One more pip. All right, one, one more. more pip. Left arm will do it. Four. Right arm. Mm. That also goes in. And just, and it's just last pip. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, wow, man. They joined each other in death. You just the world's abu- toughest Wolverine pilot and a star colonel. Oh my gosh. Just but you ran just... uphill to that, just sat, you know. <laughs> <What's> <laughs> that? Like just... He turns and unloads on him. Yeah, just awesome. Oh, just running awesome. up the hill and just all that's left is just shrapnel. That's a brutal it's exchange. Just shrapnel. That was a brutal exchange. Wow. Uh, and that is, guys, the end of turn. That will make them pull out. Seven. I think. I, yeah, I mean, we'll see, guys. Um, we'll see. So stay tuned. All right, guys, here we are on the battle grid at Luthien. The monastery overlooking the sacred forest here where the Altenmark militia rushed in. 
to defend against a surprise attack from Smoke Jaguar here to free their brethren from uh, obviously a re-education facility, a uh, very, very humane re-education facility in the Combine. <laughs> but <Korean> propaganda. <laughs> the, uh, the Smoke Jaguar is just holding down that top hill. But really, when we talk about the mission, they just nuke these objectives. But uh, regardless, turned into a very fun game. Uh, an epic finale with the Wolverine, uh, Kevin's Wolverine charging up the hill at the Star Colonel and, uh, and, and at least getting some glory and honor for the dragon. But those Jaguars just unstoppable. The Gargoyle untouched. Yeah. The Stormcrow in fantastic shape. Oh, that Marauder too. What a hero, guys. Yeah. What a hero. So uh, we'll see if the Combine uh, can retaliate. Maybe in a future, a future battle we'll have... Uh, We'll have a rematch here. We'll see. The Colonel may be back. Uh, but, guys, for now, we're wrapping up, so stay tuned. We'll head on over to the After Action Report. Guys, there it is. I think this was fifteen thousand battle value. Very close. It was. Uh, it was. Ugh. Slugfest. Yeah. I it mean, was... except for we weren't slugging. Right. We were just kind of like we were. Flailing. We, we were at the end. Know, at we, were, the end. we were punching from below. You were literally. Yeah. When my annihilator, when annihilator got into range, it felt good. Yeah, it didn't uh, get a whole lot of chances, unfortunately. Thing is, you didn't even have to. Like, had we gone, had, had it been strictly by like mission rules. Oh God. Well, that was yes. Yeah, so let's I talk about doing, that. like a long-term campaign. You could have just pulled that, and <laughs> right? Sailed yeah, exactly. The glory. Sailed the glory. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and like you know, in our mission rules, right? In the campaign rules, <clears throat> there's low, medium, and high escalation. Yeah. And the the objectives have more or less. And for whatever like, reason, we picked low because yeah, we weren't hit sure point value. Yeah. And we adjusted based off of that escalation metric. Right. Exactly. So we weren't entirely sure how it was going to go yeah. you know we uh we thought we did some we ran some numbers and we were like well uh it seems like low is the right number it seemed really difficult to hit those numbers yeah and then we found out in practice the result was the yeah you know, opposite yeah yeah you're like you know 30 construction factor that's going to take forever no yeah and then it's like <laughs> one turn yeah um that's that's the mad cat's right arm <laughs> that's true that's true so let's talk about uh let's talk about tactics let's talk about the game yeah. Let's talk about the first four rounds of trying to hit on an eight. <laughs> so that comes from being so many range brackets away. Yeah. Oh. Um, with inner sphere weapons, yeah. with those modifiers. Yeah. So this, the smoke jags had, you know, um, targeting computers, targeting computers, ER PPCs, um, <laughs> LRMs, clan LRMs, clan large ER lasers. Yeah. So that was, uh, I mean, the, the range brackets are, are big, like in alpha strike, you know, that annihilator can hit for like three or something at, at extreme range, yeah. you know, 30 inches in this game, you can't hit at 30 inches, much like in classic, you can't hit beyond 18 hexes, or if you're playing extreme, you know, 24. Um, and that, and that is part, I think that's like, part of battle tech right like you can't like power game these loadouts anymore uh right i mean i think it it, it removes some of that parity that alpha strike creates with the range brackets yeah which well, made clan just sort of like a crap sheet. reaches back to those differences in classic that we appreciate without mm -hmm. being totally blown out by them right right and like uh, you know this mission i feel like i almost wish we would have picked a different mission um like intercept or something, yeah. you know, because it would have forced a little something bit more. challenging with more interaction with the mission itself, right? Yeah. Because you just came in and nuked those bases, but it was still. I mean, I think you know, sort of turned into a pitch battle. Absolutely. Um, yeah. And and you know what we saw is that you know the IS forces were able to muscle their way in and get some solid kills, right? Uh, I mean, you were down to basically two mechs at the end, you yeah. Know? And I mean, we had a fresh annihilator, the fresh shadow hawk, and a crab, the crab take damage? No. I don't think the crab took damage. So... But the it, mediums were getting melted in, in one turn. One but we turn. Got, we finally got rid of that mad cat. That so was the, really the culprit. <laughs> he was the culprit. I was going to say that. Like, the gargoyle's nasty. 
Well, the Stormcrow, though, at medium range is a destroyer of worlds. Yeah. yeah 14 the points. Like Metcat as a solo unit can melt somebody else. Yeah. The sheer volume of damage he's putting out at extreme range. range. At extreme range, yeah. right? I mean, we could have... I, mean, I think it just shows some of the balance, too. I mean, we could have withered each other to the bitter end, but... As our st strengths shine. Yes. As you close to medium, the whole inner sphere, you know, um, suite of weapons right. yeah, comes online. But that's only because you let us, because it was like we needed to, we needed to have some entertainment for the, for the, <laughs> for the, for the, for the viewers, yeah. <laughs> um, no, I mean, yes, that is that is certainly true. But, you know, it's interesting what you were saying about, um, you know, where, where their strengths shine at medium yeah. range. And, it, and I just was thinking in my head, like, the Mauler was the only 30-50 era tech on the board, right? And it was, despite the fact that I rolled, like, hot garbage, it was capable of doing... It was capable of competing at that range. It market. remained a high threat in parity with Clan Mix. Right. So when you're looking at things like, um, you know, like a refit Zeus or like the refit, um, you know, or even just a stock archer with, there's not one with the ER large. I feel like there is. Maybe that's a, maybe I'm thinking of the, the old Clan era. Um, but, you know, these, these longer range weapons that can get you just that extra four, five, or six inches, like, it makes a huge difference. So if you took Civil War era heavies and assaults, you would have a really good uh, technology right. level to fight at those distances. Yeah. And, you know, I, I mean, I love Alpha Strike, but when I think about the XL engine penalty, it's too great to take that advanced tech. Oh, it's I, I almost yeah. never super take, vulnerable. Right, yeah. I, almost, I almost would rather take the Succession Wars era tech because right. you just have the pips. Just but a here, dumb assault neck doesn't even need to offense. Exactly, <laughs> you know. And here, though, it, it does make a difference. Absolutely. You know, having the ER PPCs or the ER large and like you know yeah. things along those lines. It, it, it is, uh, it is a, a you know, it, it's important. I think so. It'll be interesting to see like as we and this was an awesome first test with the clans because we we ran mostly Succession Wars era IS max, yeah. and you know we didn't pull punches with the clan max. I mean, we this we is what it should be like when the clans invade. Right. Right. Um, and like you know, to, to Kevin's point, right? It was, it was a it was a mop fest. I think because of the mission, like had you been required to come in a little bit closer, yeah, you know, like um, it, maybe it would have been a little bit more even. But even still, you know, we still had some armor on the board. You know, you still took some losses, yeah. so it wasn't like way out of whack in my yeah. Opinion. No one got tabled or washed by any means. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. Right, uh, and it felt good overall. I mean, right. and I think too, if it would have been a stand-up fight, you wouldn't have wasted turns melting our objectives. So we would have even been correct. I would have had two more hole. turns of getting some shots off. Right, some. Yeah. I mean, it's like, what did you do? Eighty points of damage to those two objectives. The first two turns. Yeah. Yeah, I mean that's that's a benchmark. Yeah. I mean that's a serious. So that's you know. So if you multiply that by three, you're at two hundred and forty. Armor factor. And let's not forget the fact that... a lot that of tons of armor. They move fast, so they're all getting, like, TMM 2s. Oh, my slowest mech is a 5. Which made us... We were hitting on 9s most of the time yeah. at long range, which... Imagine is, that deficit That probability is poor. Spending the first 5 turns at 9s, mm -hmm. and that's what we saw play out. Yeah. Yeah, versus, you know, Alpha, where I think that TMM doesn't seem to matter. And I was saying to him in Classic, I don't, I don't think it matters either. Because when you are a clan mech and you're running, you know, you're walking five hexes. If you turn, you're at a four, right? If you turn one hex, you're now moving four. You lose that TMM from two, you know, the, the, the target mod goes from two to one, right? Right. Um, and while, granted, you can run and shoot, and it's mm -hmm. a, you know, but still, you turn twice, you know, you, right? So you, you sort of don't get that economy of scale the same way you get it here with sort of the blend of, like, the Alpha Strike concepts and the, the classic concepts, right, in this system. So it's kind of a nice balance, I think. Um, and it makes, you know, makes the, the faster mechs, I think, more valuable. Like the uh, speed value in the calculation for BV. It's so hot. Feel more palpable here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's exactly right. I mean, even for, the, even for the slow assaults, it's like you can actually move further than an inch. You know? Right. <laughs> well, I mean, speaking of moving an inch, that Annihilator, I will tell you, this is the second time I played it. Even in Alpha Strike, when we were playing, like, I just can't get the stupid thing in range. Yeah. Like, like, I felt frustrated on your behalf because of it. Yeah. And I mean, I guess that's why it's so cheap. But, I mean, it's, I think, base 1600 BV or something. It's a specific design. Like, the speed is part of the cost where it's at. Yeah. Imagine a, a mech with fewer weapons and more speed. Yeah. And how that would have acted here. Yeah, it would have been, it would have been, like, like I'm the Wolverine to... pulled his weight more. <laughs> <laughs> Way more. Yeah. And, you know, like, I'm thinking, like, so 1600, I'm trying to think what's in that range. Like, Zeus is 1400, Marauder's mm -hmm. 1400, Warhammer's, like, you know, 1300, like, or thereabouts. 
looking on the shelf. I don't know, you know, yeah. but awesome. Another awesome would have even been, you know, because this awesome would have taken... shined more if I hadn't winged it early on. Oh my god, you destroyed that awesome. Once the PPCs were out, I could ignore it. Yeah. yeah. So. I mean, against other inner sphere mechs, the Annihilator would have annihilated. Yeah. That's the problem. It's just being held at arm's length. Yeah. Yeah. So it was good. Um, Matt, well done. Congratulations on Thank the victory. You, sir. you know, yeah. it was fun. It's always hard in 2v1 because you got two brains, you know, yeah. kind of against your one. Like, we're trying to outthink you. And uh, and it's hard because you were down on mechs, too. Like, that's a big deficit. Uh, so I went many... into it with a lot of anxiety. Yeah. <laughs> I've got two veteran players. They outnumber me. I'm like, I'm screwed. Yeah. No, but, it, but the, the clan mechs, you did good. I mean, you know, you held the hill. Uh, you freed your POWs. Yeah, we, we accomplished our mission. Um, you actually didn't free any POWs. It was all a cover. <laughs> You're actually just murdering innocent civilians inside the black. Building. I mean, there's smoke jitters. Like the monks or whatever, the Draconis your, monks in the building. Your Karita Shinto um, shrine can't save you. You can't save me yeah. so far. Oh my god, that's too funny. So who are the good guys? I don't know. But this uh, Battle of Luthien, like I said, it's always I always loved it. Because, yeah. you know, Mech Warrior 2 Mercenaries was like, you know, at I mean, least the lore three, around this, three years of my life yeah. spent. Like, you know, just in, in hours of, uh, you know, just spent in that game playing it over and over again. But the lore of this Fantastic. era is so significant. The mm -hmm. Battle of Luthien uh, reverberates across the Inner Sphere. It does. It's true. It really does. Uh, and soon your clan will be in a dumpster. Well, maybe we should play the uh, campaign to get there sometime. Well, well, you know, that would require you to live on the East Coast. Well, so, so let's, let's, get, let's get snapping on that. See what we can do. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, well, all that said, guys, I think I think we're wrapping up. But this was we we really put destiny through the ringer. Yeah, I it's still think we learned a lot. Third battle report. Um, yeah, you gonna live in it for a minute. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we did. We have, we have some we have some takeaways, some things to think about. We talked about some of the other classic rules, like careful stand, and some of the yeah. optional things that we used to play. And do we want to bring those back? Um, we got. I think the XL engines felt right. You know, the Artemis felt right. Um, so I think a lot of the special equipment that's not outlined in Destiny, you know, it's it's there. Uh, so just some finishing touches and, you know. Yeah. So there's a big question that lingers at the end of this bat rep for each other. As far as asking yourself, what version of Battletech do you want to play next? Mm. So I'm, I'm juggling, you know, Alpha Strike and Classic as we know so well, but I want to do this for a while. Yeah, yeah I, I like it a lot. I think it adds that just enough abstraction that makes classic a little bit more palpable. Yeah. yeah. You know, with What's the, the movement, the movement yeah, is one. You're not over as, We um, always talk about when we move, we spend so much analysis paralysis and like, oh, yeah. how to spend that 30 degree <laughs> turn, right? Like, yeah, right, right. Um, um, and also the range brackets, right? Like I spent a lot of time deciding like, all right, am I in 15, am I in 16? Now it's like, at least they all follow that range pattern and they just use the mods to make that flavor and distinction of- Flavor. Lasers feel like lasers. LRMs feel right. like LRMs. They're not just a stat line on an Alpha Strike card. Yeah, but they just use the mods, right? And the and the actual fact that it can hit in like long or extreme. I I think that gives just one degree of abstraction that makes it. It's like, yeah, like we're doing that. missiles, and we don't have to <laughs> go to a um, a missile cluster chart. Right. Exactly. That's so I know. Great. I know. I wish there were some more M's. We talked about this in the yeah. game. Yeah. I feel like the LRM, the dual LRM twenties, is just, just it's eight up. plus M M. Maybe it should be smack. five plus M M M M. Yeah. Something. Right. Yeah. yeah. And like yeah. SRM six, I think it's just two M's. Yeah. Uh, depend. Yeah. Just be like M M M M M M. Just all the <laughs> M's. All the Let's M's. Do it. Uh, you as many that. M's as there are. So you, I mean, <laughs> I, I, I saw like you know PTSD nightmares of you with the Kintaro. Uh, so rolling all the clusters. Three SRM six oh is my, my custom God, with Kintaro. So many SRMs. Um, that was another one though. That against the clan would just get. It would be an bust, ammo explosion. Yeah, <laughs> bust it up, just bust it up. Um, but yeah, you know, I'm, I'm with Kevin. I mean, I like this system a lot. Um, you know what I what I really look forward to, um, of course, is you know like if we do a campaign, the the sort of the character component of it. Yeah. Right. Like it you ties can, in. You, yeah, you can very easily just create characters in Destiny and, you know, like our Marauder, right? I was like just joking about, like, the story about, like, where is this guy going to go, you know, floating this projection pod down the river, like, you know, that's all, like, stuff you can build into the campaign. Pilots like, that survive a scenario, right. grow in skill. Right, they can get, X, you know, XP, you know, we can, we can figure out a whole thing for that, right? And that sort of, like, echoes the whole Necromunda thing we were oh, talking yeah. about, right? Where, like, you have this, like, gang or, like, you know, and they kind of grow You develop skill. character, you get more advanced. Right, so yeah. you build this company and, you you know, and the, and the character generation's simple. 
right? Yeah, that's it's only a few to be... statistics, and they're easy to use. Right, and yeah. like we only use three skills. Yeah, right? and so like the skill points are simple. It's like boom, boom, boom. You know, very, very easy to do. There's only you know piloting, gunnery, and three secondary skills. Right, guts, uh, tactics, and command. command. Yeah. So and they had enough flavor to like bring out that kind of you know, character... Yeah, they, like, evoke that... Persona yes. you're building, but it's not enough to, like... We're not, like, drastically adding a lot to, like, the game rules. Right, and it doesn't, like... It's mostly affecting power. the metagame stuff. Yeah, that's like, right. It's just in the meta. Yeah, exactly. And, like, and, and so, morale, right? Like that. Which, didn't it add to the accounting? Yes, no, exactly. Easy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I like the way, you know, again, we talked about the accounting, the way we were kind of doing initiative tonight was instead of sort of pre-organizing the list, yeah. it was more like, uh, almost like X-Wing style where you, you call up the list. Twos, no, threes, no, fours, all right, you got a four, go. Deli you got style. five, go. Yeah, yeah deli style. <laughs> you want to salami? <laughs> Who's number one? <laughs> oh my God. All right, well, on that note, I think I'm done. Yeah. How about you? Any closing thoughts? When's the next one? Yeah, yeah let's do it again. We'll, we'll, we definitely gotta do it again. You gotta come. You gotta come back out here, real soon. It's gonna be fun, guys. Yeah. Uh, so please, uh, guys, give us a like. Leave us a comment. Yeah, we've been asking this in every Destiny report. Do you like it? Uh, what do you like about it? Do you want to try it? Uh, also, guys, if you want some exciting terrain or minis, we can go over and go, go buy it. Go buy. It. Yeah, just <laughs> just get it yourself. Uh, you can get it over at Aries Games and Minis. Uh, lots of great stuff there. Um, so you know we've got we've got the force packs hopefully out by now oh, if they're yeah. not sold oh, yeah. out already. Uh, you know because I know Catalyst put them up on their website they were like gone in a day. Oh yeah, I, I'm I'm waiting with my trigger finger over the mouse for those. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, same, same. So uh, I still have like three on four unpainted <laughs> boxes, but I'm still like just buying more. Uh, I'm like I'm like a hoarder. Uh, I so suck. I'm waiting till wave two. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I finally got ahead of the curve. I have everything painted. Well, after the battleitics, uh, you know, that whole tournament, mm -hmm. I just had I needed more warhammers. Yeah. I needed, oh I yeah, needed dual atrium night warhammers. I think everybody has a warhammer deficit right now. Oh, God, yeah. it's so good. Yeah. It's a great. Well, map. You're obsessed with upgrading all of your previous model forces. Where That's I just true. I can't do it. I'm like, you know what? Yeah, out the window. <laughs> Their legacy all. all they, okay. you I got, know. I'm running out of space. I need I only fresh models allowed. The old ones, clear the out the kids' rooms. Respectfully packed <laughs> up. Turn them into the, turn them into the, yeah, the battle tech. Painting studios. Yeah, perfect. Got it. One day. Um, so, a couple of quick announcements regarding Death from Above Wargaming. Number one, guys, please subscribe. Uh, I've talked about liking. That helps. But subscribing helps more. If you want to help more than that, you can go on over to Patreon. Uh, so, that's patreon.com backslash... Uh, DFA Wargaming. We have three tiers. It's as little as a dollar a month. It's one dollar. It's less than a cup of coffee. It's actually less than my K-cup of coffee, <laughs> I think, these days. But coffee is very, very expensive coffee. Uh, so <laughs> you can help us out. And all this stuff does get reinvested into the channel. Buys new cameras, buys new lights, buys new terrain, buys new models. Oh, I love the production value of the games we played this weekend. I know, you're behind the scenes now. Yeah, uh, these are the best boards. Um, this one was awesome. Most we set, immersive. We set this one up. This was yeah. really cool. Well, we set it up with the help of my daughter. Devin. Yeah. She was, uh, this was Devin's Hill, right? Oh, we she, promised it's, her. It's... We told her. I'll put it in the animation. Oh, yeah. The village we attacked. Yes, yeah, exactly. Devin. Yeah. Devin's Hill. Uh, so, you know, it was very cool, though. Like this gigantic cinematic thing with the river rushing down. And it was very, uh, very, almost very zen. You know, I love like, being off a hex board. Yes. Yeah. It is uh, very good stuff. Very good stuff. Um, but anyway, so guys, if you want to help out, head on over to Patreon and take a look at all the great stuff there. One of the things we will be building is a Destiny card builder, uh, probably .NET. Oh. I don't know, Kevin's been doing some Java stuff, so who knows? We'll figure it out, uh, but you can just basically get your own force. I'm excited. Like that. It's gonna be good. I'll be there. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. Uh, yeah, for now, we're just building them in PowerPoint because, you know, that's our, that's our workshop tool. <laughs> That's what we do. Office tools. <laughs> Office 365. Uh, so anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thanks, Matt, for coming into the studio hey, for the last me. couple of hours. Yeah. It's fun. Uh, yeah, it was awesome. It was really cool. So, uh, guys, we really hope you enjoyed this. And, of course, stay tuned. As you know, always great stuff coming from Death From Above Wargaming. Have a good night.